I can't see. Are we on? Yeah. So, we are on. Welcome back to the Wileyverse. I'm just like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy New Year, everyone. From all of us to all of you. I do. My shirt. I have a shirt just like that. Is that my fucking shirt? About time. Thank you, Wolfmaster. <laughs> Wes. Wes is back. Sorry we uh, we missed right. we missed that uh, that one session. We said we were going to be here, and then we weren't. Uh, Robert's a terrible human being, but he also was a kid, and he's a good father to him, so he had to, to do that. Uh, debatable. It's debatable. Uh, we'll see in 10 years. So, oh yeah, we are back, and... Uh, and it's cold. And it's cold outside. It's cold inside, too. There's snow. It, it, it never snows here. There's snow everywhere. Everyone says it doesn't snow here, but like it's snowed for the last three years here, so... <laughs> no, where I'm at. <laughs> was it snowing here last year? Uh-huh. It snowed here last year. This is last week is Phil asleep. Yeah, this is a late show. I got work in the morning. I don't know what the hell I do here every week. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this is... We're going to go through the quick introduction. This is 5th edition Forgotten Realms Dungeons & Dragons, where the entire party is dragonborn from the nation of Tirmanthir on a quest from possibly Bahumat to save their people, their country, their everything. Well, you never said possibly before. Oh, I never said, I've never said that you were on a quest from Bahamut. I, mean, I always say you think he or does. possibly. He's been saying I have crazy. never said that you're on a quest from Bahamut. Your trickster still questions. <laughs> <laughs> if this is like <laughs> fucking some god of trickery doing this shit. At this point, there would be no way you would question it. <laughs> Well, now, uh, good question. So, uh, they are trying to save their, their people and their kingdom from yeah, evil. A whole bunch of tyrannical uh, evil is closing in on it. They have been pushed back to the sea. They've lost a bunch of territory. It's been Casualties. Awful. It's been a terrible it thing. It's just terrible. Wow. And they have gone on this epic quest to uh, find a weapon yeah. that they think can help him, them. So... But now uh, I just want to go home. Let's go home, go. my lord. They are in Castle Never, on the odd, odd and ever changing and strange Castle Never. It's fucking massive. <laughs> yes, Jeez. it's massive. They found what they were looking for—a uh, room with a map to a forge that can possibly forge the weapon they need. Uh, and the forge had a spirit in it that was of a noble dwarf. Uh, a dwarven noble. And Rumblebottom. <laughs> Rumblebottom. Rumblethane. Lockbeard. Irdad Rumblethane. We call Lockbeard. him Lockbeard. Uh, he, <laughs> the, the puzzle was that he explodes, he goes through his last moments in the castle uh, and the room explodes every time they approach and they needed to get the, to the floor and copy a map off of it. Uh, which they couldn't while this guy kept exploding. I gotta say, that mystery was harder than fucking knock-knock jokes, I'll tell you that. Really? <laughs> I mean, it, was, it wasn't at first, but it, we spent a good time kind of... We, we went through a lot of options before crack we kind of yeah. figured out what we were doing. And, we, and even then, we weren't really sure. We just kind of lucked out. Yeah. You, you did something I did not anticipate. Well, it's, yeah. it was also messed up, too, because we thought... You thought I had something in my inventory that I thought was in his inventory. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm looking you're at like, hint, hint, hint. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, I don't have anything in my inventory. Uh, so, now, they're in a room with a very alive dwarf. <sighs> from a century prior. Uh, the explosion of Mount Hottenau. Yeah, from the explosion of Mount Hottenau. Uh, after he uh, survives his spiritual demise and comes back to the land of the living... On accident. On accident, uh, because of the item you had given him. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> he uh, is obviously confused and a little bit disoriented, about the state of this place uh, and where he's at right now. Uh, and you're the first one there because you were still in the room when... I ignore him and continue cleaning the floor. <laughs> uh, you, were, you gave him the thing mm -hmm. and you didn't want to run out completely to right. reset him. Oh, that's right. And I got so you blasted got blasted again. Death. That's right. <sighs> yeah, I'm a little worried because you haven't come back this time. It's true. I didn't run out. Yeah. The explosion went off and he hasn't come out. 
I, I, my lord, you should probably get in there. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like, uh, sounds like your underhand is dead, or <laughs> could use some your holy powers. He wants you to lay some hands on me. I think you're dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, we should. All right. My lord, can you put down your phone? We're trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to tweet on stream because I haven't done that in a while. Anyway. Uh, it's it's like my case, she's going to be on my phone tonight. In the middle of it. I don't know where my... Rofus acknowledged me. Because I, I forget, we don't know what has happened. You do not know what just We're happened. We're all outside the room except yes, for Zeradex, correct? Correct. All right. There it is, yeah. I was like, I swear I've seen you use it before. Yeah. But... I think you can even do this. But the explosion still went off. The explosion went off. But we didn't see Zernax oh, no. run out. Uh, you did not see Zernax. So I would I would presume at this point I'm just going to run to the room and just immediately like, Zernax, are you alright? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, he oh. is fairly close to the entrance uh, behind the remnants of a, a pillar and kind of smoldering uh, but after you see him and he gives you his heads up, you also notice that the ghost is still in the room, except for he looks a lot more solid and not blue, see-through colored. I'm sick of this ghost. Let's just destroy it. He looks like he looks like Obi Wan pre ghost. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like prequel Obi Wan. No, oh. prequel dwarf. <laughs> I have to wait for the tweet. No, he's yeah. got the high ground. Sorry. Ha uh, ha. Memes. <laughs> so, hello. Like, <laughs> we should probably speak to this uh, fleshy well, dwarf. First off, what you, like, you're almost dead. Yeah, I'm very close. Uh, here, just use at least one of my healing thoughts. What do I do with that? <clears throat> it is... Healing healing potions. Potions. Oh, oh. Okay. Sorry. I don't even know he's if I... Not a, He's not a real gamer. I, I, don't know if I, have any, I forgot when he hears pots. Hands he's left. like, "What?" Like, an uh, I pot? don't think I don't so. I think yeah. you've used it. Yeah, I have. I remember they didn't use any of it what yesterday, it but I think that's because we've been out. We haven't had a a, a proper rest or anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have you have eschewed rest because you wanted to solve this and get the hell out of here. Yeah, two d four plus two hit points eschewed. The only time I've ever seen that word used is in 3rd edition D&D. Huh. Uh, Sweet. 4 plus 2. Do you want my roll or your roll? Your roll. Uh, 7. So one more than you would have gotten from your, <laughs> your roll. Hey. hey, it's still one more, man. Yeah, you might, might be that. the one to save your bacon. Ugh, I stand up. Okay. I'll come back. Dust myself off. Yeah. So you were approaching Irdad? Well, yeah, I mean... I, Since he was healing him. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that, and you're so, like, what's this dwarf yeah. doing here? I go, uh, hello? Hello? Uh, Please don't around, blow up. <laughs> Looks back at the thing. Turns out what are you doing in this chambers? Oh. We are looking for a map. Wait, no, no, no. Forget that. <clears throat> what is the state of Mount Hot now? Of Gontelgrim? Well, the, you mean hot, no, is it that mountain that's over there? <laughs> he starts running back to the, uh, running out to the balcony. Okay. Uh, I just wow. want to remind everyone that you all think the bal- balcony collapses. Because he. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, we say that, yeah. Fake balcony. <laughs> oh, don't really go that way. It's a trap. It's a right. trap. Stop. He stops at the gate, at the, the entryway to the, the balcony, and he turns back and says, What's a trap? Well, we've, we've scattered this bound. It's it, it's going to crash down. This, this whole castle's in ruins. This patio is clearly trapped. He throws open the thing and, and looks down, looks back at you guys, and looks back. He doesn't step out, but he's looking at Mount Hot uh-huh. now. Uh, well, it's not the same, but covered in the snow. Did it erupt? Yeah, several, like at least 18 times today. <laughs> Inspiration. Inspiration. Hey. You're not making any sense. <laughs> you should probably talk to my lord over here. <laughs> I point him to, point him to these two. 
So right now, I want to know, like, you're pointing out to him. So just everyone tell me what they're going to do right now. Like, give me... I'm going to stand by. I've, I've done enough at the moment. That's how I feel. But I want to get to cleaning the message so we can get along with my mage hand, but I'll wait. And so you and... Like, Yasa will start helping you clean away the soot. Yeah, well, we'll do that then. With... Uh, your cantrips. I mean, Arofras is pointing Mr. Lockbeard here. I'm not going to call him that. You know, um, you don't. <laughs> I mean, in character, you should address him by his real name. <laughs> Outside, I don't care what you call him. That's <laughs> Erod, right? Uh, Erdod. Erdod. Erdod Rumblethane. Did I write that down? Was I a good, um, was I a good player? I think, I, I think you did, because I spelled I it. I did. Rumbled but if, if he's addressing him, talk to me, I'm I'm about to tell him what we have just gone through. So you're telling him about the state he was in. Yeah. Oh, I got this. Ignore me. <laughs> That's another pencil. Um, That's the same dud that we keep forgetting to throw away. Like yeah. trash cans, like right it's there. Like, there's lead no, in it. No, that's the that's the broken one though. It's, it hasn't worked for like two set two okay. games, and, and you keep putting it back game. down instead of tossing it. <laughs> no, at least you have that eraser. Out. You might need that eraser. Oh, that's what we were keeping it for. Gosh. Damn it. <laughs> there's erasers in all these all things, right. and except for that one, and that one's. Or that no. one I used for both full Rifts games until the eraser was completely gone. Anyway. Riveting. So. <laughs> wow. This is clickety clicker over here. <laughs> um, so. Says, wait. Am I dead? <laughs> well, not now. <laughs> Somehow. What happened to Gondel Grimm? Do we know what happened? Yes. Um, you can you can regurgitate what your character knows. Just remember the you were sponsored to come in here by that dwarf. By Gontover? No. Well, sort of. One of them. Probably um, the by the dwarf that we met in at the, at the outside of Never. Right. Oh, there might be the same dwarf. They lived for a long time. This eruption happened a century ago? Was it this one? <laughs> no. Uh, it's the one that had that big, like, that massive metal uh, staff mm -hmm. that yeah, when you yeah. slammed it on the ground, it rung, and it stood up on its own. Yeah. Yeah. With, with, uh, <clears throat> with uh, the self-imposed King uh, Never Nerevar. Yeah. Lord Neverember. Uh, Never Galdar Greybender, the thrice crowned, who yeah. is the speaker of Gondolgrim. Oh, speaker of. So, well, he should from what talk you, to that guy. Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, from what you know from talking to him and all the research you did, Gondolgrim was just rediscovered, like a year ago, mm. and there and dwarves have just gone back and repopulated it, and they're striking up trade again with Neverwinter. And thus, Greybender is the emissary from Gontelgrim, the speaker for Gontelgrim, to come here and talk. Good. So, Mount Hot now, the, whoever the that guy was talking about, Eardod, got to the Titan, woke it up, the mountain exploded, Gontelgrim was lost. Just recently, heroes rediscovered Gontelgrim, and then even more recently than that, Dwarves have made an exodus back to it to reclaim it. Reclaim it. And we're trying to find a map to that. We're, you're trying to make, find a yeah. map of the old Dwarven kingdoms oh, so, so that you can forge. find a forge. Oh, Gondolgrim is a person. Forge Master Gondolgrim I have written down here. And forge that... Master of Gondolgrim uh, is something you were wanting to know about. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. But Gondor. you are looking specifically for... Looks a place. Um, oh yeah, when we came to the city. Mm. You are looking for uh, the city of Drunbar, which has uh, Volkundril, the Eternal Forge, which was a god for god weapon forge. Uh, it's in the old kingdoms, the ancient kingdoms from thousands and thousands master. and thousands of years ago. But this map will have its location on it. 
And the Greybender was here for the very specific purpose of trying to find this map as well, because it does map out the Old Kingdoms, which Gondogorim was the capital of. <clears throat> well, so we're not just, like, working for him. We're fucking working for him. Well, you're doing... We have, he's he patroned you. Yeah. yeah, I get it. I'm just, I'm to come in here and do this, but you're helping each other out because yeah. oh, if you also cool. went up there and there were dwarves still there, they'd be like, "Get the hell out of here!" Yeah, like Vol Zundral, yeah. uh, Vol Kundral, Kundral, V O L K U N D R E L, the Eternal Forge. Sorry, that that note was not written by me. The there was one night where you were pretty wasted and he was writing in your book. Yeah, that was that night <laughs> when I just started drawing it. So yeah, that's, that's those are the bits and pieces yeah, you remember. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to, <laughs> those are definitely my. Try to skinny him as much as possible. You can. I was like, yeah, I think. I think I'd basically just tell him what we know. Okay. Just piece by piece. Um, as you start to explain, there's. A reverberation. It's not like a rumble. It's not like an earthquake, but you just feel it in you, and like there's almost this well, howl through the castle. Well, I think we could get this map and just get out of here. Huh? <laughs> What's well, gonna take? And man. you're explaining now. You're like, I don't know, unless you want to do something. Unless that information changes what you're going to do. And the cleaning is supposed to take us and I half an hour, 30, 45 minutes. Here, so we're not going anywhere for at least half an hour. <sighs> oh, get a brush. <laughs> it's like at this point, though, we can all start working together. Cleaning, yeah. right? Yeah. Except for Thaumaturgy doesn't clean. Well, so can you, can re- our... like, you can physically clean. Yeah, yeah. Um, all the, all the these... <laughs> it's like... There's no exploring ghost dwarf in here anymore, yeah. so we don't have to worry. About and so you're gonna that. you're gonna explain to him while you're you're going about cleaning. Well, I'll probably his fault. I'll probably tell Ro for us, you know, start helping them clean. Mm. I don't know what that noise was, but we probably don't want to find out either. I agree. Um, we can trick it onto the ledge. I'm gonna continue talking to Rumble Thing <laughs> because it's pretty important I'm, that you I'm get sure this guy. <laughs> I can't just be like, yeah. So yeah, that's what we know. Later. I think we gotta do. Yeah. Like I'm Patriot sure he's still really in the room, probably going, what the hell is going on? Or, we can, you can explain to him, like, hey, you've been reliving a past moment. Yeah, he already did that. Okay. The now he's ex- trying to explain. Hot nail has been blowing up. We just need to get this map and then get the fuck out of Neverwinter. Yeah. Or never. And he's also explaining where, like, what's what Gauntlegrim is now. Mm-hmm. Uh, that it's re- rediscovered and that it pretty much was lost once Mount Hot Nail erupted. It's some inevitable awkward puzzle. So like, so hey, well, who's this, who's Dalius and Fell anyway? Hmm. That's what you say after I told you to help them clean? No, I'm, I'm cleaning. Talking. He's cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard a wall and be like, hey, by the way, you sound like a, shut up about this Dalius and Fell. Like you sound like a punished kid. I'm cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm cleaning. Come on. Uh... You gotta look it up. That's okay. Should be scrubbing. <laughs> scrub, scrub, scrub. Uh, I had to. Uh, scrub, scrub, scrub. Um. <clears throat> going to wax that floor. Make it. Oh, Dalius and Fell. Take off the bed. I wonder if she still lives. Hope she died in the explosion herself. Dalius and Fell is an agent of Thay. Clean man, clean. Agent of Thay. Game to claim the uh, the Titan, the primordial for her ma- masters. You don't suppose to be this in, the person who has a uh, fiery, would you? Scoop, scoop, scoop. Person you went what? The thing in the head that, that we gave fiery to. No, you already knew her name because oh. fiery yelled her yelled her name out. That was... I oh yeah, that's a, that, and I thought that was the sorceress's name. And it's all coming back to me, folks. <laughs> right. 
Uh, her yeah. name was Cressia. Mm, Cressia Cressia Red Eye. There's a lot of names in my game. Clean man, clean. All right. Um, everyone, make me perceptions. Let's see if we miss a spot. All right. Just no hesitation there. Uh, As I wait for everyone else, I roll like shit. I must be pretty focused on my cleaning. Good. Perception? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have that skill. Hey, what what I get? You get a five. A five? Nine. Nine. Seventeen. Sixteen. Okay, so... You got a fifteen. You got a fifteen? Good. You hear it... <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Wolfman. What did you get? Sixteen? Sixteen. Yeah. You hear it, uh, fourth. Uh, so... Like <clears throat> after Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fuck that! I got higher than Wolf. Yes. <laughs> uh, Yasu's sitting there, and you know, cleaning it away. You're cleaning it away with thaumaturgy, just cleaning spots. And she's like, she kind of looks up, stops cleaning for a bit, and kind of like goes back. And she's like, "Do you hear something?" And then, like, you perk up, and you're like. No, and you're like, just keep cleaning. And then you start hearing this, like... Very distant, very, like, kind of a howling, almost wind uh, that's rising. Uh, And then you hear it, and then Wes hears it. And you still don't hear it. (laughs) Why are you all stopping? (laughs) I can't do this. I don't even have magic to do this. Huh? Clean, quiet. Don't we have a map that can just absorb this? Magic? We have to have the map out. Like you have to have, have to clean. You have to have the thing the showing at least as much of it as possible for you to put the map down and for it to absorb. Magic, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you and you don't, magic. and you don't even know if that's actually true. You just don't want to take the chance that you put this map down and it soaks up black areas, like right. <laughs> Oh, you got one part of it. Check it out. Everyone's like, like, oh, you fucking dragonborn idiots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> so. Bahamut, more like duh. Uh, Rumble Thane, ask some more questions that you may or may not be able to answer. Uh, then he's like, what's that sound? <laughs> I did, well, I, I certainly want to see this gray bender at once. Speaker of... Uh, so-called speaker of Gauntlegrim. Uh, Is he helping clean too? <laughs> nope. Uh, uh, well, Rumble thing. Um, <laughs> don't know what that sound is, but um, are you are you able to fight? <clears throat> he pulls out that axe. It's like <clears throat> this looks. <laughs> this doesn't look incorporeal or spectral. We haven't used it in over a hundred <clears throat> years. He's probably way out of practice. <clears throat> You haven't used your mind as long, and it still works. I'm not that old. <laughs> it's just a matter of my scale. <laughs> well, there's there's a good chance we're going to find out what that sound is, but not probably in a good way. This castle, since you last seen it, is filled with many terrible things. Hmm. And it seems that I was one of them for a bit. I will make up for all of the atrocities that I may have committed in my years of unrest. You could start by cleaning your floor. Mm. No. <laughs> are, we, are we coming across charred bones. bones in this room as we're cleaning? Yeah, oh, yeah, there were yeah. charred bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like when we walked in, there were charred bones. Uh, there were yeah, charred yeah. bones in the, in the foyer, too, yeah. where like fire had come through a bunch. We had to keep dodging them. Like, the torch. They're probably evil like everything in this castle. Uh, he walks over to the doors and he's like, let's see what I can do with these. Uh, and he just straight, like, those are big stone doors that, you know, they're blasted off their hinges and he just kind of like muscles and picks them up and puts them back into place. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, shit. Uh, then you're, he, you're, you're a strong little fellow, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I 
What else do you say to that? Right? Yeah. 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 He still is like. Yeah, he's still I mean, that's size. pretty impressive. Those are big ass <laughs> doors. I can't pick those up. Mm, oh. No, none of you could have pick those up. Why'd you do oh, that? Oh, no. I have a few tricks up my sleeve or around my waist. Oh. Well, this is good because. This on the waist. I never tried that. You're probably going to need all those tricks to get out of here. I bet he wears a girdle. You're probably the only one that knows what that reference is about. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that wasn't a weird comment. Yeah. yeah, girdle of giant strength. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So that's a classic. 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 Yeah. classic Let's kill him and take it. That'd be amazing. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite one, because man, nothing will test your role playing more than uh, it's an old cursed item, uh, girdle of masculinity, femininity. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. So the moment you put it on. You switch genders and you can't take it off. <clears throat> yeah. That was um, they put that in uh, Baldur's Gate. Yeah, it was an old one from Greyhawk. Man, the the guys that created Greyhawk, they were dicks. Like, their cursed items were just terrible, <laughs> terrible jokes on the players. Like that's all they were. Sounds fun. We're having fun. <clears throat> Is that mm. Merkel Skull? Yeah, well, it's the old. So when we talk about this dwarf, is he kind of like the Lord of the Rings type dwarf, or is he like Peter Dinklage from Infinity War? No, he's dwarf? he's Lord of the Rings type dwarf. Yeah. Because <laughs> you were like, for a little fella, and I was like, I thought he was. Like, well, they're mind, was they're about like dwarves in D and D are now like four foot five to five feet tall. So mm. it's the halflings and the gnomes that get really short. So Shane could be a dwarf. <laughs> so uh, you've got and you've got. Um, Is that why he's so angry? <laughs> no. no, he's he's angry for a bunch of other reasons. Uh, you got about three quarters of the floor cleaned when uh, you all notice that uh, there is an anomaly in the room towards the doors. Uh, no. The good. In like up in the air, about ten feet above the ground, in front of the doors, uh, there's kind of like this heat shimmer distortion to reality starting to form. Are the doors closed? He closed, he them. closed them. Now yeah. they're not. Remember, they were black. Like one of the hinges is broken, yeah. so they're just they're just up and in the door frame. They're just blocking our view, basically. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Uh, faster. Rumble Thane stands next to you, like facing this thing. He's got his axe and staff out. What's, uh, what's, what's, what's this? What is this? What's going on? This. Put on your pants, dwarf. <clears throat> Keep cleaning. <laughs> Yasa says. <laughs> okay. I'll keep cleaning. She's the magic expert. How do I get two words so close? <laughs> Oh, at this point, I'm a little worried that like we haven't like healed the full. And uh, do you want to start? Like, you can start healing. You can start like in this downtime. You can like before whatever happens happens. You can do some stuff. You can heal. Yeah. I mean, you guys can't use like this isn't a rest. Yeah. Obviously, because you're you're doing manual labor. Hey, healing book. <sighs> I have one more now. Alright, I'll use one myself. And... You have some more charges left in your... I only have one to use before it would be on to the last one. And so this is this is 2d4 plus 2, right? Correct. Hey. That's much better. So I'll take the 8. Mm. What did you roll? 8. <laughs> I'd have been so mad like, oh. Yeah, I rolled two fours. You would have got ten. Set here. No, it's pretty damn good. So uh, uh... Ayasa is at uh, 16 out of 35. 
You guys got a lot of fucking hit points. Man. Remember, you, like you chose not to increase oh, your I constitution, know, I know. and you rolled bad like once. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Our first, our, our first time that you were able to get more hit points, you rolled very shitty. Are people just like you got like plus three and stuff? or something terrible. Is that what people well, do? My with my mage hand is cleaning for me. And no, I was, and I was helping. Well, yeah, you you can you have cantrip which cleans. And you can have your mage hand with a you know actual physical like rag or something cleaning, mm. so you can kind of double duty. But you can whip out a potion and drink it, you know, in the middle of casting can uh, uh, prestid prestidigitation. Why are we drinking oh, potions? Because I'm hurt. <laughs> I got burned half to death. Is that what these things do? Let's use one charge on Ayasa then. So roll it. So, am I going based off of my first level cure wounds? Correct. Right? It has first level cure wounds, and it uses your wisdom okay. as the modifier. But it doesn't get my bonus for being life domain? It actually does. It does. Boss, mm -hmm. boss board game. So it is. It's fantastic. So it'd be 1 yeah, eight. we gotta we gotta pull that out of the place one day. So, 1d8 plus 5, then plus the additional 2 for being the... Okay, so plus 7. So, whatever mm -hmm. this lands on, plus 7... Fourteen. Dope. It just went and just sat like there was no roll to this. Right. She is at thirty now. Uh, let's see. Rofrost is sitting at twenty six out of fifty four. Unless you got healed. I don't. I don't think I have any lay on hands left. No, you don't, but I'm just saying, is that correct? You are yes. at 26. Oh, yes, that is my correct amount. Yeah. And zero nine <clears throat> is at... Uh, 20 now. Refresh to get the right number. 20 out of 30, which, I mean, you can't it's get much more. Yeah. On a scale mm. of 1 and 54, I'm feeling about a 26. Uh, yeah. I love that. You can't just give that information. You can't just give that information out, but you can give them a generalization. Okay, <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 54, I'm about at 26. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, well, I won't use the last charge of the thing, but I will use a cure wounds on myself real quick. All right. Just Are you guys just trying to get out of healing? I mean, cleaning? <laughs> Because He's well, technically I've I'm never cleaning. been cleaning. My <laughs> prestidigitation is cleaning for me. Well, your mage is cleaning was... and your prestidigitation ink. Yeah, so. that's not as good. I just like to think there's like this the cleaning party going on. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> okay, eleven. It's so it's sooty. Like something. It's still something. Why don't you have the more rotate bar? For the what? Can we just? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that is on my unit. I'm sure if I hit something, it would do. <clears throat> All right, so that little uh, um, distortion starts to kind of howl and almost scream at you. Uh, some heat starts coming from it. Uh, and then eventually it starts to kind of like blister and peel, almost like burning piece of paper. But that burning piece of paper is reality. And from it, this face emerges. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> no. And it's looking down on you. Uh, it is... Uh, friendly? Yeah, it's totally friendly. He's a nice dude. It's just Orcus. His name, so, his name uh, Orcus shows up? Uh, his visage shows up, yes. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's terrifying. I think, do we know who Orcus is? Um, we probably don't. yes, you did re research, and oh, that yeah, was yeah. one of the things you guys researched. That's right. That's one of these. He's a demon. That's as, right. We as much as we research, we don't remember any of that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah we, we like we, we like research college that. research. We're like, he's, ah. a, he's a demon. <laughs> he, he's a demon. It's so I knew it while I'm writing the paper, and then I have that written down. Actually, <laughs> this mean is you mean. <laughs> Great clothes. Let's see. De -de 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 -de. Let's see the exact research I gave you. Was this back in the Discord channel? Mm -hmm. He's probably pissed what we did with this dwarf. What? <laughs> Weird. Well, he can suck it. 
Oh, don't say that to him. <laughs> he can hear us. He can hear you. <laughs> He's supposed to be in the crypt. No, the crypt is the Neverneath. That's, no, that's controlled by that. Yeah. that. You see how much spam and bullshit you guys do that makes it hard for you to depend this There it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> you should just join in because it's I just cool. never say anything. I know. Right. Right. Demon, oh, uh, demons, devils, and demons, and demons, and demons, and devils, and demons, demons, and devils, and demons, oh my. Uh, all manner of infernal creatures and cultists have been drawn to the castle, especially the servants of Orcus, the demon lord of the undead, because there are a lot of ghosts needing wrangling. Uh, specifically, you know that Orcus wants to kill everything in the prime material plane, thus creating Gehenna, which is the realm he kind of... No, he doesn't. He's the ninth level. Whatever level he's on, seventh, ninth. Uh, he wants to basically make everything his level of hell. So if he can kill everything and take control of all of the ghosts, then all of the prime material plane would become his part of hell as yeah. well. It yeah. would just sink down. Uh, so yeah, um, he's not a fun guy, and his people love this place because there's a crap ton of ghosts to experiment on and try mm. to figure out how to make everyone ghosts. He should try killing people. <clears throat> well, that's the problem is that if you just kill them... They move on in the path. Mm -hmm. They go to the goddess of the death, or they go to their pl their plane. You don't have to cry, Rob. It's okay. This is sad. Mm -hmm. He just wants everyone to he's die. He's just trying to get out of fucking cleaning. Is all he's doing. <laughs> you see that demon? Like, no, nobody sees the demon. Fucking cleaning. Did you take your allergy medicine? <laughs> no, mom, I didn't. <laughs> Do you drink too many beers? <laughs> I have one. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'll work on that. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> There's also Coors Light in the other fridge. Yeah, you want Coors Light? No. <laughs> oh. We are not sponsored by Coors Light. And or I don't Stella. Think, I don't think we're looking. <laughs> that take your mess, bro, for us. Yeah. Ah, so you play some Destiny 2? I didn't say anything. We've been playing a crap ton of that. Yeah, I'm going to start streaming that every Tuesday now. So I'm going to do the daily reset stuff and maybe hang out with these guys when they're on. Oh, yeah, you did stream. That's probably what this fool Your beer is yeah. in Tucson. Yeah, you want? we can't put it through the camera. We haven't had that yeah, technology. we got some wheat tea waiting for you. Just come on down. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, look, he plays Diablo 2. Uh... No, uh, Destiny 2. <laughs> <laughs> I was really confused for a second. Like, that's a great game, but let's... Huh? Give me one of those. Can you pass that down? I mean, did you take no, one? I already had it. That's like the first thing I do when I get here. It's on a scale. Just pass it. You guys are weird. You're weird. You don't get allergies? It's winter. All right, so... Um, it appears... And looks down and in this guttural scathing, almost with a, a bone on bone <laughs> uh, sound, like, you know, that kind of nail, nail scratching on chalkboard voice, which I'm not going to try to mimic. I'm going to do yeah, all voice, but I'm, I'm not going to try to mimic. It's, I'm not giving this the due terrifying. attention this deserves. This is a very <laughs> horrific thing that's happening right before our eyes. And it's like, it looks down upon you. Flames in the skull eyes. <clears throat> you are trespassing on my domain. The dead belong to me. But he's not dead anymore. You could. <clears throat> I point to the our little pile of gathered bones with, from my cleaning. I'm like, <laughs> you can have them. No. What have you done? Says, looking at the dwarf. We have cleaned the floor. Uh, insolence. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, we're pretty, pretty insolent here. So far, <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. We will see how. Is it? Oh, damn it! Let's, we'll see how snippy you are when you are beneath my throne. We are keep the floor clean. <laughs> I mean, I, okay. Ayasa I don't looks up and goes. My alarm just tripped by a lot of things. Like before this guy? Uh, or... He didn't pass my alarm. <laughs> he, he just, just appeared in the room. Okay. 
But that uh, means in the hallway, at the end of where these doors are, things are there. I ask you, can you seal this door with your magic? I'm not an abjurer. <laughs> but maybe this people that have wards and dwarven fellow we have who could lift the doors could at least hold them closed for a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, but from down here, it's like no. Yeah. And you also have things like uh, an immovable rod. Oh no! I mean, just remember who you guys are, what spells you have, what yeah, abilities yeah. you have. Oh, we haven't. <laughs> The immovable rod is a good idea, though. I'll push that in front of the door. And... Make a intelligence check. I'll make it good. This is how you say this is a good. dumb idea. Uh, Nineteen plus whatever they get. Um, it's not a bad <laughs> idea, so but there um, there is a problem to it, which is the the hinges are blown out on one side. Okay, so that won't so work. it would just pivot it the other direction. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, one immovable rod, probably not enough to hold these doors. There's Can't they doors. also use her fire magic to like so... melt this, like 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 Calm weld this? Sh- okay, just calm down over there. Hold on. Um, well, there's two doors. Uh-huh. The hinges are broken, whatever. But like they're standing, they're standing up in the frame. But so if you put it on one door, now also understand that these these open out, so the frame lip uh, is on the crazy. inside. So, <laughs> do we have any magic that can fix and mend things? Uh, prestigitation can fix and mend small things, uh, not the size of I these legitimately hinges. have mending. Does she have you any? have mending? Like, yes, I can I absolutely do. <clears throat> Look it up and see what it does. Mend that shit. There is a single break or tear an object you touch, such as a broken chain link, two halves of a broken key, a torn cloak, or a leaking wine skin. As long as the break or tear is no larger than one, no heart, sorry. Well, larger. No larger. <laughs> Knowledge. Knowledge. <laughs> is no larger than one foot in any dimension. You mend it, leaving no trace of the former damage. You could mend each bolt individually. There's four on a hinge. Uh, so it would. it's a casting time of what? One turn? Uh, cast at will. No, but oh, sorry. sorry, cast time one minute. <laughs> one minute. Ooh, one yeah, minute? It would take forever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, it would take four, eight, sixteen, 16. minutes. Um, we don't have that kind of time. You after he put up the doors, you could have started doing that, because you would have realized the hinges are broken. I will say that, you know, because you guys aren't I was like you're uh, not on your spells as much, but I'll say one hinge is still d- not done. Okay, I was to say, like, don't give us too much of a benefit. Oh, it's not a good benefit, don't worry. <laughs> uh, I was just say, because, like, no, I'm we, with you. I'm usually we, the same we way. We wouldn't have known that, like, crap's going to start, like, running. Well, through. I mean, you tried to put up something in the doorway, so we're also, you'd also. We're also fairly amateur. Like, our characters are us. Like, we're like, hey, what are we doing? Like, stumbling. But around. you know, you're dealing with a demon, and the demon is probably summoning his demonic minions. Uh, so. So let's get ready to rumble. I'd rather not rumble these things. But... I know that paladins can do stuff against demons. What? Well, that I seems weird. Spell. What? You, your guy playing a paladin. Yeah, you know you're turning stuff? your smites and all that stuff. Uh, your anti undead specific things are anti undead, anti fiend, which. Demons are. Yeah, so, so I got. They're, fiends are demons, demons, and. I already used devils. my turn, though, against the dwarf. This is uh, not combat yet. There's yeah, no we're turn. not in combat. There's no turn based thing going on yet. No, no, I mean, he is once per rest. Oh, your turn. Yeah. You oh, tried to, oh, yeah, you tried to turn, turn yeah. the dwarf. Okay. Um, I oh, will. He tried to. I thought you tried to kill it. I'm kind of concerned about this, our strategic situation, though. Can I. I don't even. I mean, I don't think Rulefrys knows he can do this. But can I? As he's like trying to focus on this, can like, can I use my divine sense? I get. I can use this six times for a long rest. Can I like? What does divine sense give you? As an action, you can detect good and evil. Till the end of your next turn, you can sense anything affected by the hollow spell or the location of any celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet that is not that's not behind total cover. Never mind. <laughs> What's the point Literally. of this ability? <laughs> yeah, right. If yeah. it was hidden or 
Oh, it's not behind total invisible. cover, yeah, but it was invisible that yeah, yeah. total cover. Um, and and I, if you use that, you can feel a whole lot of evil behind that door coming towards you. I'm feeling evil. I mean, not me personally, but. You did you take or not take like the circle of protection and I, things like that? I have. I can cast a protection from evil on a person for ten minutes, and I was I was considering using that on um, Mister Dwarf here because they seem to want to claw him back to the realms of the dead. Are you sure about? They do. Oh, they. they what does protection against said, evil give you? They have a disadvantage to attacks against him. Okay. And he cannot be possessed, charmed, frightened. Interesting. All right. Ooh, that's fun. You can't. Some of that oh, you can't be diseased be right now. Well, I have right. to concentrate on it. And I can only do it for ten minutes. Hmm. All right. So, uh, well, at the end of the hallway, a whole bunch of stuff is there. The hallway is pretty long, but you can assume that it's going to be minutes. So yeah, I was two I was to three waiting, was, minutes was, yeah. before whatever it is hits those doors. Uh, uh, so boy. just let me know. Uh, you got about you got more than three quarters of the map uncovered. You're just getting to the edges now. Yeah, I'll grease the entrance just outside the door. Inside or out? Well, outside. inside because outside. you can't. It's line of sight. It's only within range. Only within line of sight. You have to be able to see. I am just going to Doesn't try to. Effect. Cast time one action, components, duration one minute, range 60 feet, anything yeah. within range. Yeah, you, you can't grease someone through a door or okay. anything like that. It, line of sight is just how spells work. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, then I will hold on. Unless something on there specifically says that you don't have to see your target, you have to have line of sight to where you're casting. It does not say that. Yeah. That's like dimension door and things like that will mm. specifically say... Oh, you don't have to see your location, you know, oh, where like you're going message. to be. I don't like, have to see message, right. yeah, okay. You can, it's a message that's specifically through walls, through this, through that. You just Got have to it. know where they are. I'm learning. Um, yeah. But you can grease this side of the door for when things come through. I don't know, it would, it would limit so, our movability, you know, like we wouldn't be able to get any closer. Yeah, the well, issue hmm. with that is like, I mean, granted, maybe we don't care to try to keep Make, the door shut, but if... If we're gonna put people on doors to try to keep them shut, we don't want to be standing in your grease because then we're gonna to have to make saving throws to not slip in your own shit. <laughs> right. How much of this damn map do we need? I'm just gonna to try to follow wines now, and try to clean as fast as I fucking can. He also says, well, we only need bull chondral. Do we see that anyway? Do you wanna search for it? Of course I do. All right. We can uh, both investigate. Do that, right? Yep. So you're stop you're stopping cleaning and looking for the one thing you need. Yeah. And this is investigate. 20, oh, twenty three. I guess a uh, nope. Hold on. Do either of you speak dwarf? No. I don't think so. Now with my intelligence of ten. Because all the map is in dwarven. She, he does. You want to tell him? Yeah. You want to ask him? Yeah. Where's Vorm? <laughs> Volcondrol. Volcondrol. <laughs> you can't even see it. Where's yeah. Volvo looking? Where's Volvo land? Oh. One. Yes. You. Do you speak dwarf, Wes? <laughs> I say quickly, and I, I put my hand on his shoulder. I cast a spell on him. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. And before you, you do, you ask him like just to you. You asked him a question up front, and I didn't hear what it was. Tell me what that is again. So we need we, we need to find where Volcondrol is on this map, so we can go there. Uh, oh, it's in the mountain range of this and that. Yeah, it's right there. Is it, is it clean and uncovered? Yeah, no. Get that map on it! <laughs> and now you, you've realized something else. He knows where all these things are. Himself. Yeah, he need, no, he needs to... Yeah, yeah. The, that's not... Yeah, that's... Um, yeah, I, let's knock him out. T- put him in the back of holding. <laughs> so, well, so if we didn't, but we don't want to lose him either. So, I mean, if he if he decides no, to join us, whatever, if he gets killed or hurt, we, we should still make this map as a backup. We can't yeah. let... That's, the map is still look, important, but you can you get what you can get out of it. Who's carrying the map scroll? He is. So the dwarf has identified Volcondrel for us, and, and its location is uncovered. We have a majority of the map enough to tell where it's going to be from our knowledge. Well, enough that you could probably say that... 
Shit, between yeah, he's old as shit. Right. He knows, he all, this knows stuff. Where all this stuff he's is. He's been there. Right. Yeah. So whatever you but don't get dies, from the map, doesn't want to follow let's us. get him yeah. out here. Yeah. There's a collapsible balcony right outside. We can, we can, we so can, so far down we don't even see the ground from the balcony. We got, we got floaty magic. You do have floaty magic. We need to get out of here. Feather falls like six people. That's right. Okay. Well, we've done that before. Let's get let's, the hell out of here. Let's, Mission accomplished. Well, let's get the map made. Okay. So you're gonna put the map down? Because he's we figured out like what we need to we find is it. uncovered enough. Mm-hmm. And, and if you anything you don't get from the map, this dude can fill in himself. If, he, if he, he survives. Yeah, like, I like assuming as soon as we leave the castle, he doesn't like, Yeah, like, right, yeah, let's, knows what's going let's, on. let's let's do it to it with this scroll thingy. Scroll map. Does it work? Right, you uh, pop that cap, you pull out that parchment, unroll it, put it on the ground, and you see this black spot appear in the middle, and it starts to kind of wave out like ink absorbing into something, and, just, <laughs> and it's like starting to copy the map. Uh, at its rate, it looks like it's going to take a minute. Fuck. Wow. I put protection of evil on the dwarf. <clears throat> we will not let them take you back to. Whatever it is they want to take. They will find I'm not so easily taken. Well, the doors open outwards. Are you sure you don't need to grease the doorway? Well, at this point, might as well fire new. Yeah, because you can't. Too. Well, it depends on what they're going to do. You need to decide if we're taking that rod with us or not. We're taking it. The doors open it, outwards. outward. It won't. You well, put it on this rod. side, they, hey, it they pull it out. The still sitting there. <laughs> take the rod! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he didn't put the rod up. Like, yeah, so. oh, okay. Because that information, we didn't put. He didn't put the rod in. So I'll, I'll grease the ground in front of it. Uh, unfortunately, it seems that whatever forces are out there, or fortunately, for, I guess for you, doesn't realize that the doors open out, uh, and they slam into it. Like, you just, the entire room shakes. Uh, oh, you can okay. hear the hinges, you know, burden, like, the as the brass on them strains. Uh, <laughs> dust and soot fall down. <laughs> And then, like, it just keeps hitting. Like, it's not just one slam and then it stops. It's... And then there's a whole bunch of pressure on it, and you start to see cracks starting to form in the door. Getting the sword out. Uh, At this point, yeah, bows out. uh, The dwarf walks up the stairs onto the edge of where the grease is and just takes his staff and then... Slides it all the way up in his hand, so his staff is you know just like leather wrapped, and on the end it has like a stone kind of point. The bottom it has a metal cap, and at the stone point side he takes that and reaches up and inscribes a rune, dwarven rune into the door, and it just it goes through like it was clay. It just carves into this stone like it was clay. Hey, you could have done that earlier. That wasn't broken earlier. He, he, <laughs> he hasn't been alive for a century, at least. Uh, and he, as he finishes, he lets it slide down in his hand, and the metal cap hits the ground, and the uh, rune lights up, and it almost looks like it's chain, like the glowing parts of the rune are chain and bind together on that door. So, uh, like, the rune itself becomes a chain embedded in the door. And he steps back down. You should learn magic like that, Ayasa. <laughs> it's dwarven rune magic. It's not even the same. You study the very human. <laughs> I love it. That's not the same. Yeah. Fuck you, Rogue Rock. <laughs> dwarven yeah. common and elvish. I think you speak the most languages of anyone in this party. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't even more speak Spanish. Can you tell us a dirty common. dwarven joke in Dwarvish? <laughs> can I speak dirty languages? What do you speak? Common, draconic, and elvish. Oh, you all speak uh, draconic. 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 Common, mm-hmm. yeah. Elvish. Uh, yeah, I probably don't speak any of them. I don't think you. I think a Yasa might language. speak another language, but I don't remember what it is. Efficiency? She speaks gnome. Nope. Oh, that was East Rock. East Rock spoke gnome. I'm apparently proficient in land vehicles, though. That's <laughs> no, so she's just coming. I think that's why you drove the cart a couple of times. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, what was your background? Soldier, right? Soldier, yeah. yeah, so yeah. Come land vehicles. Convoys, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, again, that thing just like 
And now it's starting to kind of, like, the pressure against it is starting to... No. Something is, like, undulating and pushing against it. And you see, like, the cracks are now forming all around, especially the stress points around the chain rune that's in there. The hinges, parts start falling off of the door. Holes start opening, and you start seeing clawed hands and things... Like, multiple clawed hands come in, like, reaching and grasping and clawing. I start stepping mm. forward and say, can you all leave? Do I... I will buy us all the time I can afford you. is starting to back up towards the... We cannot leave the map. The balcony. Well, we, uh, yeah, we need the... Yeah. What's the map progress? The roof has is not long. Uh, it's about through. halfway through at the moment. I'll stay behind with the map. I'm going to drink a potion. Uh, yeah, some mage armor's up. <laughs> All right, well, I guess... Uh... So you, the dwarf, and Xeranax are standing before the map. He's standing in front of you all at the, like, steps from the door. In front of the grease. Yep. Uh, I am going to cough my potion. Yep. Uh, do, do. Hey, look nice. at that. Ten. What'd you get? Uh, you got the max as well. All right. Oh, yeah, take what you got. Yeah. I'll take this. I'll take that. <laughs> um, so right now I'm going to say, uh, Xernex, you're in charge now of this map and this dwarf. In dwarf. Well, well we, we kind of want them both. Uh, I'm going to step behind Rofress okay. and give him protection from evil. evil. Oh, boom. I feel feel <clears throat> I feel awesome. <clears throat> he also has the doors to the balcony open and is kind of like half reciting her Featherfall spell. <clears throat> and she reminds everyone that you all have to be in her vicinity for everyone to get the benefits of Featherfall. Define vicinity! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a cool thing to chant. <laughs> 60 feet. I don't I don't know how far... <laughs> Am I, within, I, I try to keep within 60 feet, but... Well, the room is much wider across than 60 feet. It's if she's fine. at the balcony and you guys are at the door, you're probably about at 200 feet away from each other. So, she's just saying... I tell like, you her know, to tell me where I need to stand to be in that and still Well, be... the map, unfortunately, is like the 100-foot range. Oh. So, and you have to be oh, in front of that. Oh, so we need to so, get the map and go. Oh, so, shit. she can't, like... She, she doesn't want to leave anybody, but right now everyone's outside of her range. You have to like you have to run and get to her so you can jump. But she wants everyone to be there, and she's just trying to remind everyone of that. Like, hey, I, yeah, 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 if yeah. I cast this, or then just, everyone's left behind. We're just and, waiting on the word from Xeranax that the map is secure, no. and then we're all gonna book it towards Ayasa and that. <clears throat> balcony that we believe is that's going to be stupid we'll we might and we're like <laughs> fuck we may we, <laughs> yeah, another 20 sword. feet <laughs> and I said we may want to consider an incomplete map there's the a lot of them out there the worst part is that like I failed that trap check so what's really going to happen is we're going to run out to the balcony and it's going to like spike us instead of like collapsing oh jeez we'll find out soon yeah but like the the plan in general is like even if these things get through the door, we're going to fend them off temporarily before we all run and jump. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, okay. <laughs> like, right? I'm making right? sure. Yeah. Like, right? The... <laughs> we're all going to ch- double cross you right at the end. Fuck. Fuck, Samurai. Oh, shit. That was my last spell, too. Fuck. Oh. The one where I cast protection from evil on uh... the door. Yeah, Lockbeard. What is he? Oh. Man, we are spent, boys. It's been a long well, journey. Well, you're to this point. spent. All right. Some I of just us used... have saved our spells in the event that we have crap to do. In the I've future. been trying to be so conservative with my stuff, but things are happening. Yeah, we I mean, we've have made what, it this like far. Three and... spells to use. Yeah, I have like three spells left, and I just use the one to grease the floor. <sighs> 
Okay. I mean, so, if we get this jump off, though, like, uh, who knows? We don't know when we'll hit ground. It's going to be a while. Yeah. <laughs> like, that. you were really high up. So, like, we might, we might make uh, it to a decent, like, level to get uh, the hell out of here. The, the door is now, like... Just the entire thing is like undulating and cracking and coming apart. The only things holding it together is the the chains, which don't just seem to be rooted in that rune, but in that in that air in space. So, Who, who's got the godstone? Is it is, is it in the back? Bag. Okay, so I want uh, to make sure <laughs> a chunk <laughs> comes off the bottom left corner, Shoot. and these things start crawling through. Like, no, I can shoot an arrow at one. <clears throat> yep, you can shoot an arrow a bunch, but they look like this. Um, they're only about Ugh. three feet tall. I like that they they're like a dog. Sack. They're like <clears throat> dog apes. That has a sack. Then they can yeah. shoot a sack on. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> sort of. What do you call yeah, that? Yeah, what do you call that dangly like sack it. between its legs? It's probably that's, a, that's like fur <laughs> with a sack underneath it. My balls have fur, but they're still a you, sack. You might get... I don't know if you can show that on the stream without getting... <laughs> it's like, it's a, we have that adult content on our, on our stream, so... All right. Um, so, the first one gets through. Uh, what's your saving throw for the grease? Oh, oh, I don't... Um, man, I haven't used this in a long time, man. It should be on your spells, but uh, oh, that's right. it's your... Uh, it's hilarious to me to think of casting grease on demons. But... Uh, I mean, they have feet. They, yeah. They're in the prime material plane. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have yeah. to deal with that shit. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's Dex fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so the first one like kind of comes through and it's like, what? <laughs> and just like Shoot sliding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll throw a javelin. <laughs> Let him shoot his arrows for yeah, like, like, your like, <laughs> javelins. Uh, Let's see what you do with, with yeah, what he does. Your know. arrow, your bow and arrow is magic. Yes, no? Yes, it's got a plus to hit. Plus one, yeah. It's a 1d6 plus... Oh, so I have to roll first, though, for attack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a uh, You have, unfortunately, disadvantage, because it's prone. Like, disadvantage because it's prone? Yeah. When when you're getting shot at, Smaller, you hit the ground. Yeah, smaller hitbox. <laughs> so you can't be shot as easily. No. Yeah. If you were attacking melee, you'd get advantage, oh, because if someone's weird. right below you, you just stab them. What yeah. a strange combination <laughs> for a thief to have. Right? <laughs> Interesting. So it's been a long time since I've actually attacked. So it's whatever plus eight, right? Or only twenty. Is it for your infused blade. Uh, yes, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. That's what I thought. Well, remember it's at disadvantage. So, so you roll twice, take the lower. Oh, that's I right. Either roll two at once or you get one. Okay. I'll take the lower of fourteen plus eight, so twenty-two. Twenty-two. Right. You just uh, roll yep. fourteen to sixteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that hits. That's nice. Damage is one d six plus five. Give it nine damage. All right. It's like, Ting! it squeaks, like squeals. And then like this green cloud kind of poof, comes out from it and just like kind of Great. coats the area in front oh, of the door. No. <clears throat> it doesn't dissipate? Nope. That's... It just, you just scared the shit out That's of it. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Uh, another one makes its way through and also falls. Another one down. Uh, you gonna throw a javelin? javelin yeah. All right. Another one. Disadvantage. Bites the Disadvantage. Dust. It's all dust. <laughs> you gonna shoot the new one or the one that's already hit? Doesn't matter. <laughs> what you get? You get well, wait. You no, get, no, he gets disadvantage. Oh, well, then yeah, you missed completely. Well, hold on. I'm not. I'm no slouch. It's still strength. Why are you throwing a javelin? Because you kill them before they get to you. Weapons. Yeah. I don't want to get close oh. yet. Um, you don't want to go up and attack them in the grease anyway. Action. <laughs> well, yeah, but that means it's I a can. plus seven, so it's going to be ten. Oh, you're so close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just it's fun. It's like skips and hits the door like, yeah. but you just misses it. Good job. Yeah, it's, J- it's javelins are meant to be though. thrown. Yeah. Like, they're not melee weapons. I got this guy. <laughs> Fuck your javelins. Yeah. Like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Just saying, you throw a versus target that we know we're going to kill, like you can go retrieve it from the body after. You can buy new javelins. They're I'm cheap. not worried about my fucking javelins, okay? <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's the benefit uh, of living yeah. in the desert. Our roads never go... Well, they're shitty, but they... They're already... Yeah, you know, they're shitty because uh, they're, the city makes them out of shit materials. Yeah, but... they do. Well, I guess if he missed that dude... 
Since, I mean, we're not doing any kind of initiative or stuff. I'll no. do something now to yep. that cave. <laughs> Sacred, uh, flame, sacred flame, shit, and it's yeah. uh, Dex 16. Dex 16 disadvantage because he's prone. Uh, yeah, he failed either way, so. <laughs> Vav- Vavoom! 1d10 damage. No, it's actually 2d8. Ooh! Mm-hmm. That flame's got silver a bit more dice s- are rolling good for you. Yeah. No, nope. seven plus five, twelve. Twelve, right. and you doing against the injured one, or non-injured one? Uh, non. Wait, there's an injured one. The one that I yeah, the one you just shot some dust. Oh, I thought like he killed it and it no, turned no, into dust. I just popped it. Nope. No, no, it oh, just but secreted. yes, the the non-injured one is who I'm hitting. Oh. How much damage you do that thing? Twelve. Twelve. No, wait. No, me, oh, I did. Uh, fuck, I rolled. Uh, I don't think you rolled plus damage. Five. No, I did. It was it was nine, nine. four plus yeah. five. Yeah. Okay. Let's twelve radiant. Twelve radiant. Oh, let me see. Radiant means heat, right? No, radiant no. is light, holy. holy. Like, yeah. Okay. It's like a light. Um, oh, I bet they hate radiant damage. They have no weaknesses, so. They have no weaknesses. Everyone has a weakness, Dave. Yeah, it's grease. <laughs> It's, it's grease, grease, apparently. So yeah, you did no twelve to grease a non wounded one. Yes. Okay. Have you so heard? you hit that. Did it, it burns. Did it poop it's dust? Uh, it's it, got it, yes, it does poop dust. Okay. <laughs> There's nice. more green nice. around the door. <clears throat> we don't know what this dust does yet, but no. it's probably not good for us. We probably don't want to be close okay. to it. Can so we... a third one comes through and trips and falls. Sweet. But then a fourth one climbs over the other three it, and gets carpet. past the grease. Making a carpet. And he like, stands up and it's like, Aah! it's running at you. Uh, can we get a map at, check? Right at me and Rofra. Now, since we're in turns, we're in like, you know. Three seconds. Yeah. 30 second intervals now. Yeah. So you have to survive like two turns. I am going to use my breath weapon. Ooh. Try, I it's mean, they're been all been right there. Yep. Yeah, so. been all right, do it. Uh, what's, do it. What's the... It's been a bit, thing? hasn't it? Yeah. Um, I was thinking too, like, we, we've so successfully walked through Castle Never that, like, I'm forgetting my attack rolls and stuff. We've, we've it been, is a 15... They, they have a 15 DC saving throw. And disadvantage for the three that are on the ground. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, the three on the ground all get hit. Uh, the one that's like actually came through, like he sees you doing that, and just like, you ah! <laughs> he jumps out of the way. Okay, well, at least it's not forward. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so damage on the three grounded ones. All right. Do jumps... I roll for each one or just one for? He still takes half. If he jumps sideways, though, doesn't he land in the grease? And have no, to he got this? past where the grease is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where the grease is. All right, 2d6. It's only 2d6, but he's still taking half. They're going to take take, uh, seven damage. Seven. (laughs) And that's my breath weapon. What do you do again? Lightning. Oh, Oh, lightning. (laughs) Seven. And... You only did seven? It's only 2d6. Yeah. It all has the same breath Five and a two. Uh, and this it's half damage for successful, or is it no damage? <laughs> oh, um, I don't remember. Yeah, it's, um, it's half damage time. for success. Dex yeah. DC eleven, half damage on success. Yeah. So four damage for them. All right. So one of them stops moving. Uh, the other two are like. <laughs> okay. And that one just got a little. Which one stopped on the moving? The one that was hit with an arrow. The one that was hit with the arrow. Okay. Oh no, sorry. The one that was hit with the sacred, sacred flame. Flame. Okay. Stops moving. Uh, all right. Well, that's him. What are you doing? Can you imagine canceling Shoot. a is game because turning? the roads are that bad? I'm, I'm just. This is just starting to sink into me. Like yeah. that is how bad are these roads? It's well, January, it's man. Like, January and back for east. Snow and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, the yeah. snow! I forgot snow is a yeah. thing. That's what. That's why we were saying it's it's cool to live in Arizona. Like our so our roads kind of suck, but we never close. I anything. thought you were trying to suggest that because it's so dry no, that our roads like no, have no, a no. longer longevity. No, no, no. Other way around, we build our roads shitty and we don't cover our potholes in Tucson very well. <laughs> We outsource like that kind of shit. The city, the city does take care of it for the most part, but it's bullshit. 
but we never close our roads for anything, like unless there's construction yeah, or right. well, a game by the campus. That's it. We we have washes here. Uh, but even yeah. it's kind of rarish. Yeah, if it monsoon, except, people pieces, except for every monsoon. <laughs> well, they close off pieces though. Right. Like yeah. for an area of road to be closed due to flooding is super rare around here because Michigan. Yeah. Where whereabouts are you? Are you in the glove or the UP? Hmm. I'm curious. I want a three quarter know. inch layer of ice topped with six inches of fucking yeah. snow. Oh, that's, that's through all of we that. had. Whoa, we that had is, I ain't driving through that. Though. Yeah, we, would, yeah. We had a light Accident dusting. Of, waiting to happen. Yeah, we had a light <laughs> dusting of of uh, snow, and my my wife lost her healthy tomato plants that have been growing in the middle of December. There's a, there's a, there's a fucking house in the middle of on, on Drexel. Like some kind of like shitty. It had. To, it looked like a meth house. It was like on the road, and I don't know what how that happened. But there was like cops and like construction people trying to get this house off of fucking Drexel. I'll hmm. we'll have to look that up later. It was about um, three thirty p.m. It was Drexel by uh, Palo Verde. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I saw a house in the middle of the road. I had to, I had to go around. What do you do? I, that sounded like a good idea. I'm going to do the same thing. And breath, breath weapon. These guys. And yours is acid? Acid. So stream, right? Well, Not we hit the door with that. Five by 30 foot. So all you guys still have your breath okay. weapon? Yeah. We, we have no one has used their breath yeah. weapons in here. That I know of. I like that we... Because well, we could, that I remember. Some of us used it in the fucking... You, the, Season room to do things. Oh, oh yeah. um, I don't think I did though. Uh, Lightning, I, I don't think the seasoned room. Seasons. The, the, remember the, the gazebo. The, the, oh, the no, atrium. Did, mine was acid. So yeah, I you use used coal. Really, you, you did use coal you for winter. Not use yours, but I had to use. And mine. I think yeah. she used hers. Yeah. No, she just used her fire. That's right. Yeah, used yeah, right. used yeah, I used yeah. mine in there for you, winter. I had acid. I don't know. It's seasoned for acid. Yeah, that's why I didn't use lightning. Let me do that. Like April showers. Yeah, we both. But you, yeah. I also, so, good way to tell is that you should have and would have boxed it on your app again. Yeah, I touch it. We did you use coal for winter. Do you remember that? Shit up on that. All right. Control below the bridge. Acid. All right. Uh, Dex dirty. Dex, well, Dex eleven half damage on success. So acidine... These are thick doors. There's two left. There's they're both, they're both there's three point. left. Oh, okay. Two on the ground. Yes. One correct. standing. Yes, we only get one breath weapon per short rest. Per short rest. Short rest. All right, they all fail. Oh yeah. Two to six. Two to six. Eight. It's better than seven. Just saying. <laughs> My lord. Please, uh, would, you, would you focus on the map, please? I had the one shot with, yeah. the, <laughs> had the, one shot with the arrow dies. Uh, the other one that's on the ground burns and screams more. Uh, the one standing like takes a face full of that. The skin around his face kind of slows off. Yes. And he's still coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> Saving throw against horror. Oh, which these guys don't have here. I, I would love to hang a camera off a ceiling fan to look yeah, right. We, we, right. We've we talked wanna, about it before. Yeah. But over here, if you see our actual screen, like where the fuck? Like, right above Wiley's head. Oh, yeah, oh, maybe you know, could maybe you could corner. you could shrink Wiley's or you could shrink Wiley's. We can oh, maybe, you're talking about we can window. Maybe, sh- right maybe shrink the, the well, text box a little bit. Or something. Yeah, shrink the text box. We could like you I've seen others. Pop a bit above us too, like it's hard to do that. But okay. yes, uh, I've seen other streams that like they everyone is like the same size, so you'd be next to me like this. Yeah, um, I could zoom in closer, which would be essentially the same as crop. Oh, but the but, thing is, if you only had like a small window for the die, you would you wouldn't be able to read it just looking yeah. at right. the screen. Plus, we're all real great. Like, like see like, what's on the die. Yeah. yeah, it's all right. It's exciting still. So. It sucks too because we all have some really nice dice. Positioning though, like legitimately, you could shrink we up the text we and could shrink just Wiley's we, we, head we, a little bit. We don't have bit. it on during the winter. We've had it on every other session except for the last two. Have we? Yeah. 
But I mean, if we had a if we had a dice game and we could literally put it like right here. I mean, oh yeah, oh yeah. We got a little little. little I mean, little, it would be in the way a little bit, but or we could yeah, we could just lean it over right see, here. See, like, look, if it's right here, look where my hand is on the screen. Like you wouldn't even you'd barely see this little nub here. Yeah, totally. We it would, we'll it'd just be like all the fucking garbage we always put here anyway. And like we can raise that, we can raise that tripod. Angle it down and zoom in more on you guys. Well, one of the reasons and we then, keep the text box is when we put this on YouTube, when we like to watch it back when other people watch it. No one will understand what we're answering you if that's yeah. not there. And we put that on there because we talk and then load this up to the YouTube channel. And and we talk to you guys quite a bit, especially, I mean, you've been here the whole session. If we got rid of it, everyone would be like, who are they talking to and why? So mm, yeah, That's a good point. But we yeah, we'll have to figure that out because that's something we've thought about. In the past. It would be yeah, cool. It's fun to see the dice happen. Like that's a yeah. that's a moment because like everyone, if, if you're watching it, everyone sees the rest it of us go, Oh, well, we all yeah, did. Yeah, 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 so yeah, it would yeah, make yeah. sense if we all could see it. We'll figure it out. That's a we'll good idea. Yeah, I like that. Thanks, Wolf Master. Master like Ball we Wolf's. can we can get one that has a pretty wide angle and it doesn't have to sit that much higher than the thing. He's right. If it was like, like right well, even, here looking down, well, it would barely be on put the your thing. Put your cup in the dice. Like, that's how tall a little camera rig over top of that could yeah. be. Oh, so then even if we put it right here, it wouldn't really yeah. be obtrusive. Right. It would just yeah. be there. It and and, just, your, your and people would throw it in, in there. In fact, we could put the square with the dice roll over right. it, over like it. right it, in the it, middle. It, so it, every time it, we throw our dice, it shows up in that square uh, right here. Where it's missing. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it could work. Let's pitch in. I'll, put, I'll throw 20 in it. Yeah, it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, so you went... Uh, what are you doing? There's, there are two thing, There are two things left so there's, inside, there's, but there are more coming through. There's the one on the ground, and there's the one that is still standing coming at us. He's got an extra... Are you offering a camera? We did. He was like, "We'll give this thing." That's when we were starting to talk about it. Oh, I thought he was just joking. Like, like, I thought he was just being like, "Or I'm sorry, I don't even know if you're he." Uh, Who you attacking? But um, I thought he was just being like, "Like, I would be nice if you could see the dice rolls, guys." You got him. Yeah. Oh, you should have seen that roll, Wolf Master. Ah, (laughs) only eight that day. Uh, that. He dies. He's coming at you with his missing face. And then oh, yeah, his sacred flame. Yeah, Wes. Yeah. yeah. His sacred flame uh, hits him and erupts through his chest, and he just <laughs> organs come out and. Oh look, a fully the formed ground. dead bug in the bottom of my cup. Mm. Oh. Protein. Is that really there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Really? Oh, yeah, I heard you. I ain't a scorpion. No, it's just like yeah, a little mosquito or something. I played outside when I was a kid. A little skeeter. Uh, all right, so there's just one on the ground. Uh, two more crawl in. They have to grease? Yep. How long did you grease last? A minute. Uh, one, like, one comes in, falls. The other one climbs over the other two in the bodies and gets on, gets off. This is the first time that my grease has ever been thwarted by bodies. <laughs> like, there's so many yeah. <laughs> Lucid Abstract, welcome hey, back. Hey, what's going hey, on? Hey, what's he been up to? I don't know. Oh yeah, so I have uh, everyone's wearing shirt. some. Everyone's wearing some good shirts right now, a, a, except for you. My brother and I uh, built and maintained. Well, we don't know what shirt he's wearing. I'm... No, not. Oh, uh, underneath my Ohio State hoodie. No, I'm my brother and I. As well. My brother and I built a movie replica Sand Trooper armors, and uh, we like maintain them. We go out in them. We go. And we we do a lot of stuff with them and things like that. And uh, my my boss bought this for me for my birthday. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. You want to stumble? Yeah, I do kind of want to yeah. Right here, buddy. What? Anyone stone else want to stumble? Yep. Bud. Oh. <laughs> that would really severely hinder the beard. That's the point. My brother and I are going to join the, 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 the... It's a 501, not the 151. Um, it's the 501st. We, we've He's got, got everything. Thing in his hand. We, we, just we, there like, twisting it. We've got everything. Tell stories like Shane. We've got everything. Uh, we've got the everything story we before he opens the Except beer. for we want to build our backpack still. True. We kind of keep putting it off. Come My on. brother likes to cosplay too. We built some some uh, Firefly costumes and things like that. So it kind of keeps putting, getting put off in the background. Plus, it's kind of fun to go by ourselves. As much as it's cool to join the 501st. Uh, Didn't they have really what? shitty costumes that you were making fun of the whole no, time? No, 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 no. Oh, when we were at Comic Con, 
The people that had the Firefly cosplay. Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about. Fire- I, I don't want to be mean, but he was like, yeah, I run the, I run the Tucson chapter, of the, or the Arizona chapter of the Firefly cosplay, and I was like, oh. You're wearing... Like, my brother and I were like, <laughs> movie replica, and he's like, but... You do? But my brother bought a lot of our stuff, In though. those? Like, we, we bought 3D printed weapons, and this guy had, like, put something together, so there, it wasn't, like, better or worse. Although this was better, I'm just kidding. <laughs> was, All right. I saw the pictures. Anyway, demons are about to pour through this door Greece, they and engulf us all. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you guys have all gone. Another one has come in. Um, I thought two more came in. They both slipped in the grease. Right. Well, another oh, well, one's one's another, one, one is now like, in, with us. in like okay. past the grease. How coming. far away? Is it, is uh, oh, I have, I have to roll for the one that's on the ground to get up. Uh, it still I'm, fails. I'm just going to toss my javelins until they're in sword range, okay. I guess. So, javelin? Yeah. It plays yakety sax while it tries to get You're it. Throwing, I'm throwing out a wounded or a non wounded. Oh, uh, natural right. twin. Non wounded, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Just, that's gonna I have a story just... about Vegas and that. So. Oh, do you? All right. Uh, javelin or D6s? Yes. So it's. Uh, uh, I can't. Oh, I'm, I'm like out of. I'm out of holy juice. I can't really do anything. Yeah. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, that's a weird thing to yell. 2D6? 7. 2d6, yeah. You can roll the best on the worst. Oh, that's thing. Maul. I'm looking at yeah, Maul. Yeah, like, yeah, pick that up. <laughs> Javelins are 2d6. You're right. <sighs> or I critted, so I rolled twice. Oh, you rolled twice. Yeah, are they yeah. d6? Yeah. Okay. yeah, they yeah, are yeah, d6. Yeah. So that was a 1 and a 6. That makes more sense. Okay, yeah, it was a 1. So 7 plus 4. 11. Um, yeah, or, or plus 8 because it was a crit, right? So it's double damage. Just double, double dice. dice. And you're like now you're double doubling. You're yeah, like, double double. Well, it double used to, it, it used every to. every iteration has another way to do a crit, and some of them are you roll the dice, add the thing, then double it. This new one is so all is you're double just dice. Like, they're so nice. I, I still need to get the red stuff. set. The red. Well, and gold. So I do eleven these damage are, these are cool. with the javelin. This yeah. is what yeah. color I would be. Every time it like, spears into it, it's like almost came in the mail. They were in a little bag. This was unnecessary. And I dumped it on my hand. I was like, does it stop to do that? Yeah, Taylor was like, to pull out. Nice. Like, yeah, these are great dice. God damn it, these are beautiful dice. <laughs> okay, Lord Sabroth would have nothing. What do you? Do? How far away is that um, one? That was the closest one. You, the, the, one. the one that's past the grease. So he's like twenty feet from you. Twenty. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Right, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna. I don't shoot, pull out another one. I'm gonna, gonna shoot the uh, the closest or the the hurtest one. Okay, the hurtest one is still in the grease. Oh, you know, damn He just hit. The one that's not in the grease, pretty hard. All right. Let's um, do that. Did Miss Green shit come out of that one? No. Okay. Mm-mm. So I'm gonna shoot the one that he just hit. Finish him. I said finish him. What is this? I don't understand. What that's is a this? four. This is a weird symbol. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <like> Twelve. <laughs> Twelve that hits. Yeah. Hey. hey. <laughs> These clumsy bastards. Yeah, they're tiny and stupid. Are they dregs? <laughs> yeah, they're dre- yeah! dredges. Dredges. Yeah. Seven damage. Seven, uh, it dies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just like it's pulling up the the javelin. And it's like I'm uh, buying uh, time, okay. And then it looks up and you just uh, <laughs> with its arrow right in the throat, like uh, and it falls down. How's that map coming? <laughs> Good shot, see you next. It's two rounds after these two go, and then they go one more. No, it's after yeah. he and you go. She goes then. Yep, you go now, and then we'll have at the end of the next round, it'll be done. We did a full round already, I thought. I've already gone twice since they've come Well, out. that's true. Then at the end of this round, yeah. after you go, it'll be done. There's yeah, because no Ayasa's Ayasa just still hanging back. Oh, that's right. Ayasa's to... not in combat with this. Yes. So at the end of his turn, we've finished the map and we must retreat if we choose to retreat. All right. So the only All right. one left right now is the one on the ground. There's so two, on, two the on the ground. One is wounded, one is not. All right, well, and then let's... after this round, too, we, should take, we should take our quick breaks. So yes. The hour and a half. Because next, because next thing that happens, is shit gets real. Yeah, for real. This has been a cakewalk so far, which is always uh, bad. So let's hit the one. We're in combat. These are just like, things that have been like squeezing out. Yeah, of the yeah all, like, every time something's a cakewalk, the one that's for, like, been two rounds. Yeah, I was like, all right, yeah. Yeah. fuck you. Uh, like, if when Drake came back the third time, I say, and I started. Oh, by that grease, grease with that is so twice. nice. Say, Giving yeah. disadvantage to like if it falls prone, then it has disadvantage to all its deck saving throws. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a reason that's all I Oof. use when we got started. What are you using? Guiding, guiding Blade? That's, that's only or, seven. That's or Sacred Flame. Oh, uh, okay. 
That's why um, you can just kill them with these things are so weak. They have some damage resistances and an, and an immunity, uh, but these things are pretty weak. You can just beat them to death. It's so the, just, it's yeah. the bigger thing that's that are waiting behind the door that are going to be a problem. Spoilers. Well, you've seen their arms and crap sticking through, so... We don't yeah. know that. He just told us that we've seen that. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we I told you guys do. when the <laughs> holes In started character appearing. And out of character, we do know that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... What did you do? Seven. It does. <laughs> this fucking guy. Uh, so there's one... Like there is one left on the ground. It is full condition, but the that's not the biggest problem. The map gets to the edges and uh, copies the burned... Scorched edges of the floor, and then that's when a couple other big parts of the door start to collapse. The hinge pops out in the bottom left, and that collapses. And you see a couple of those shadow fiends that were down in the museum. Oh no, I was dodging coming through, and then like right in the center, you just like it's starting to break and buckle and all this stuff, and then something just gets angry and it just and blasts out the bottom like middle of the two doors and it's this big corpulent pasty white demon with like these tiny little vestigial uh dirty angel wings oh that's 40k uh (laughs) angel (laughs) wings and it's like its nose is exposed so like the bone down to the bone it almost looks like it just doesn't have skin kind of like in this area i recognize the the description but i don't know what it is it's just some type of demon that it's the it's the critter from pan's labyrinth he just has the eye just needs the eyes he has eyes this thing has eyes but like it comes through and you see demons behind it uh, dretches and um, oh, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of the uh, one of the three Diablo. Yeah, no, I can't remember their their actual names. Of the demons from Hellraiser. There's Pinhead. There's the woman with her her face pulled back, or the dude uh, with the face pulled back. The woman, and then the fat dude with the goggles who's missing his nose and his teeth are kind of exposed. Um, you see what could be. Uh, you also, don't know exactly all these movies. things, but um, mm, one and two are great. Two is really good. Then spine four, demons, uh, Bulazu, Bulazau, um, Babu. There's a bunch of demons. Far East. There's like a whole bunch so, of stuff coming through. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the status is here, but yeah. I'm just saying. He I'm yells like, out that the map is finished. Map is done. Well, let's get the fuck out of here, and we're gonna break. Yeah. Oh, so, it's definitely uh, running time. Uh, 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 I need you to do something for me. So yeah, no. Well, I mean, you can help as well, but I figured if you go to the bathroom somewhere back in these D and D books. There's going to be an older monster manual. I think it's down there. That three three pack right there. This might be it, or it might be another one. Is that fourth edition? Yes. All right, I'm gonna use your bathroom. Bye. Thank you. Oh yes. No problem. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank I was thanking you and Thank you. trying to say. I turned to him to say that's fine. <laughs> Uh, and thanking you at the same time. So while we're in a break, uh, Yeah, we can talk about that, Wes. It happened yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. It was my first stream. I I'm, I'm gonna try to stream more. I wanna. I, I'm not going for gusto here, but if I can make affiliate on Twitch, uh, I need to do another stream. I need another day of streaming, and I need people in the chat. What's this? Uh, affiliate to get affiliate for Twitch. Oh. There's like criteria to meet. Oh really? So what platform do you play D two on? Yeah, what what uh Oh yeah, PC? Yeah, we all PC. play we all play PC now. Yeah. 
Uh, how fast? Uh, I guess we'll find out how fast what? these things are. What? These things, uh, these demons. Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna find out. These what? These what? What? <laughs> is there something? Is there other is there things other than demons trying to run us over in a swarm of hell? I actually have on every console except Nintendo Switch. I'm assuming you don't. So, so you have PlayStation Four, Xbox, but do you have it on PC, PC as well. Yeah, yeah, on, on the personal computer. I got it free on PC. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, they, they did give it out free on uh, on uh, the on the PC. Did that was it not free for the? It was only it was free on PC. Through, okay, uh, yeah, that's what we do. Nice. We um. So you got a free, does that mean you don't have a uh, Forsaken or anything? Oh, I, I checked out Leviathan. The Leviathan raid today. Uh-huh. I found out that's a great place to get your uh, your um, powerful enemy heavy weapon. Yeah, that's where kills. everyone does it. That's oh, where I did it. Yeah. You go and kill the six and then reload in. Yeah. Huh. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Play me now, PC. Cool. What's PC mean? You're an idiot. <laughs> Player character. There you go. Versus an NPC. Non-player character. Perfect. Yeah, yeah I feel you. It's um, especially after Christmas time, you know. I feel like it's a tradition just to drain all my finances and Christmas. Just like, whatever I have. We actually did pretty good. I'm usually done with my Christmas shopping by November. I, I kind of fucked up this year. Like, everybody's presents came really late. I, part of it was that we were, like, kind of having a good time. And part of it was me, like, in my mad rush, seeing some things were not selected as prime. Where I'm like, cool, click, and it's like, yeah. should show up December 28th through December 31st. And I'm like, motherfucker, so this I is a it like two weeks ago. Terrible picture, but that thing mm, is that's the one not that what I had pictured. I'm waiting on through the bottom. Saying, yeah. Oh gosh, that's war. That's what? War. War? Yeah. The artist. Mm, that looks this... like his stuff. You look like W-A-R. stuff. W-A-R. You look like his stuff. It's, it's an acronym. His name's like his name's like Wilhelm. I know it's the you're talking about the guy from uh, like Pathfinder. Yeah, which I'm correctly. pretty sure that is. Yes, we do. I don't know what that is. You don't have the forsaken DLC. Yeah, play. Yeah, no, you, play. you should play with us. Yeah. Dick licking country. Join our DLC. Join our horrifically inactive clan. That yeah, don't I mean. Yeah, if you guys find another clan. Yeah. You guys could please search for one. I'm, I'm not a. <laughs> this guy's like fuck our clan. I'm like wow. Oh like, man. It's terrible. Oh, it, this the, the, nobody ever. I joined and there was like a core of like they they were a huge clan, huge. Yeah. They but they played they everything. All, they all play. They all just um, play Overwatch now. And then uh, I got on and there was like four people that were really active. They were doing the Whisper of the Worm quest and Catalyst. Uh, but there's already three of them on, so I'm like, oh, I'll go do something else. And then those three guys never got back on. Yeah. And Rippus, the leader of the clan, like he's barely on. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Fork knife, you mean? Fork knife. I haven't played any of these battle royale games. They they must be fun. Everyone's playing them. Or they're mm. played by children. So. No, you see. People, I'm just, it's, I'm it's just got this, this adult, I'm you old fuck, it's got that stigma, <laughs> but I mean like, we, we, we play, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons no, now. No, we just, <laughs> we just specifically have a, we just specifically have a friend that plays Fortnite and I like to yeah, yeah, it yeah, as much shit. as possible. Yeah. I, I'm trying not, I'm trying not to get on the hater bandwagon against these, these, these battle royales. They must be, no, it's really not fun. Extremely aggravating. You constantly lose. Well, only one person can win, right? Like it's a, it's yeah. like, it's like Hunger Games, right? Yeah, each match, only one person can win. Do you have teams at least, or is it just you? You can play team based. How big can your team be? Like 
<laughs> Do or squats. Interesting. I threw out the B net in chat. I almost want, I wanted to do. Uh, oh. I checked out. So the old sad. I don't understand how yeah, people build giant the hippo. so quick. Like I am giant hippo, by the way. Uh, on PC, and you can that gateway you into all of us. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna gateway into them. <laughs> all right. Um. It's gateway with a Y. Like mean, as examples of things that are coming through this, like there's like. This orange demon orangutan type thing coming through. I don't care what's coming through. We're running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't have eyes on the back of our heads until after they touch us with their warp. Rofos, you are last, though, buddy. See, no, right? yeah, no, I am. I'm, I'm, I don't know what the situation is here. I'm kind of standing my ground until... And I, and I call that out to you. It's like, my lord, you know, like, I, I would have... I, what's this? Look for a Fenrir. I mean, you can do it right now, dude. I can add you on okay. my phone. Fenrir, oh, that's that's good. I like it. That's the uh, that's the wolf, wolf of the north, isn't it? Right, that's the big wolf god. Mm -hmm. The one that's supposed to eat Thor. Yeah. <clears throat> or is that the snake? No, the snake is supposed to eat. Is supposed and to kill like Thor. Like Freya's leg or some shit. Yeah. Fenrir is supposed to kill like Odin or something like that. Norse Vikings are crazy. They're awesome though. Yeah, their gods are way cooler than the people Christian love them. The space greens, space what? puppies, <laughs> space wolves. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your Christian gods. <laughs> <laughs> I found out that skin. I found out that oh, that you're Scandinavian. I've been obsessed with North Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know how it is. I, I found out. I found out that I'm uh, that I'm Scottish. And so I developed a drinking problem. People do that all the time. Then there's more people than just one, but it does not be. So, but I do call out to Savroth, say like, and I say like, you know, I should have already been dead in battle. I will hold this line as long as you need. I've already got well, the map. Don't, don't. <laughs> Just call me when I can go! You don't have to hold it too long, Rofres. I don't want to throw my life away, my lord, I'm just saying! I mean, I can cast Grease again. I am undaunted in your service, my lord. Cast Grease under you. <laughs> oh, fuck! Bye! <laughs> Let's get a new dragon. But... <laughs> I see Scandinavian and Irish, so you're drunk and violent. What a beautiful mix. We should definitely play Destiny. <laughs> <clears throat> I was like, damn it, I was gonna respond to you, but <laughs> the DM slash GM has walked away. It's okay, he doesn't have to know what's between us, my lord. <laughs> I'm like, you sit there and change the print. It's our Wow, that was very, you'll be that's the big a, head for a second. That was the most dedicated role playing I've seen you do this whole head. fucking campaign. Oh, well, where'd you go? Oh, hey. Oh, look how big hey. it is. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. I'm on the GM. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm telling. telling. <laughs> <laughs> I caught him. <laughs> Just wanted to know what it was like to be the big head. <laughs> look at me. I'm the GM. Giggity. I'm the big head here. It would honestly be kind of hilarious to have you GM the three of us. <laughs> From a game? Just, guess, just, guess just imagine how we, that would go. We Let me know you when you want do. that. I, I would really, I honestly would love to hey, see I, how that would play I, out. But I, I really would. I GM for like, what, three or four weeks? It's yeah. different. It's fun. It's, it's it's not, there's no wrong or right answer. It's, it's so good. I would do the same thing that Mitch had to do, though. Like, look at Wiley from time to time and be like, am I allowed to make yeah, well, yeah, that, they didn't have a couple times, especially when, to, like, do this? especially when we played. I know the, you're my player, but I'm like, oh, that's well, we played the very time. first end of the world. There was a couple times where I'm like, is it normal for me to ask? Like, can I set a timer for this short shit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't talk to him a lot well, afterwards. Where I was like, hey, if that three minute thing had been failed, how would I not have killed everybody? That kind of thing. You're like, oh, you write out the death and just be like, oh, the, the ship went in, blah blah. Oh. So there that, was, the first time you ever used the timer and mm -hmm. it ran out, and you're like, yeah, like well, and you're like, well. Well, you guys know you just made it out, yeah. but it was like it was like doo -doo -doo. the brains fell. I was like, oh, what are we fucking done? If everybody just died in the beginning, like with you, the you just have a penalty for doing it. it doesn't mean yeah. you have to, like that, that was, was like with the, the learning experience. Like, yeah, oh, this yeah. doesn't mean like oh, if you don't do it by this time, you die. I, I if am, you don't do it by this time, consequences happen. <laughs> in a elf I, in a L five R game I was running, I had a I had a, a an hourglass. Yeah, that's and what I had it a, is. 
tessellation. I made it, I made I actually made uh, one of those like slide puzzles. Oh fuck that! Oh, this, yeah. this one was uh, I had I had ten five two or three uh, one minute timers and then a thirty second and a ten second timer. Mm -hmm. so I would decide like okay they were trying to escape from the ship and like you, the warning goes off you have three minutes yeah. and they got to discuss what they wanted to try to do and then they would try to actually do something to roll against the timer and when it was over they kind of had to decide what to do and it was getting really close and I was like timer's going down I had this uh, I had a room that was filling with water and there was a wall there was a side puzzle on the wall and so every every time the, the dream glass... was in the one part that you uncovered yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah was, and uh and so every every time the hourglass would have to be turned over, that was another that was another five feet of water. Oh wow! Hmm? Hmm? What are you saying? Oh, I said y'all are killing me right now. No, Why? He said go fuck yourself. Anyway, back to the game. Oh, sorry. All right, back oh, to the are, game. Are we playing a game? Oh, I don't know how many beers in here. Are you? Three. I'm fine. Oh, okay. Both the two drinks. After. Why are we counting each other's drinks? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> this episode is it was not sponsored seven last by week. Stella Artois, but night. we are looking for. Clearly, that's not Stella in my glass, but no, we don't okay. have to worry about that. It's, it's a great Stella, Stella, Stella goblet, yeah. All right, so uh, the doors, the door is falling. The map is done. You guys are running. We are running. Bro, Brofress is. I mean, I'm backpedaling. I have straight up ordered him to basically like. You are the the rear, the anchor, whatever the heck the case may be. Like, we all need to get out there. I was put in charge of the map, so this is gonna be the first time that I ever snatch and run. So yeah, I was told so to do that. You should absolutely you, and you should be you're with the dwarf. You're you should dark. be telling yeah. the dwarf Got like we need that. to fucking go. Yeah. You should be the first one to. Well, that's what I yell. You're, yep. you're done. Join us on the patio. All right. Uh, so, Eardog's backing up. He doesn't look happy to be running, but he's a dwarf and, you know, just came back alive after years of... I give him a knowing nod. Like, yeah, I get it. And yeah. you're in front, like, you're uh, in front facing these demons, so you guys turn and head back and meet up with Ayasa. Are you turning and running, or are you backing up? Fucking go! <sighs> just go! I'll... As much as we want you to die, we kind of need you. No, 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 no. I'm not like I'm gonna go too, but like I just want to make sure that that it, that I'm the one that's between you and them. That's all. Just go, 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 go. I will turn and run. Okay. Feels bad. Hashtag feels bad. Feels man. bad. Man. <laughs> and you're you're backing up, staying faced against them for what, now. What weapon do you have in your hand? My sword. Okay. Just want to know. My sword. Damn, I'm going to have the magic one out against the demons. I'm, this is my honor. This is my... This is my this is, I, I don't use this for special occasions, my sword. You would uh, slide it into you. We're, we're on stream, dude. I know. This thing out. You said slide it out. It's been in a while. <laughs> Which one? The stream. Right, right, be right below Xanthar's Guide to Everything? Yep. Xana. Xanthar's Guide. <clears throat> Alright, so that pasty white <laughs> angel <laughs> winged <laughs> demon. <laughs> ah, there we go. Uh, makes its way towards you. Like you just stomp, stomp, stomp. What? I just want to see it when you're done. That's cool. This, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cool. GM screen. Oh. It's the remastered one. That's a good one. I have that. You gave me that I as did. a present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It is cool. And Sorry, it's got, like, I, I love their condition. It's a beautiful shirt. screen. They're, they've got the rolls. Like, I like that they I broke, got I like that they broke <laughs> out the mold of the three, the three panel one. That's okay. I, I, just, I, I wanted to see it unfold, but you, yeah. you yeah. did it, so that's, right. that's all I wanted. Uh, so it's striding forward. All the demons are pouring into the room. They're just kind of like filling the space. They kind of like are getting just around, flooding in. flooding in. They're moving out because they were like they're they're packed to the like in that hallway. They're they just clumped themselves up in a horde, pushing against that door until it breaks. You do notice that the chains of that. Dwarven symbol are still floating in the air. 
Okay. And like they've broken down all the pieces around it. Yeah. And are just like starting to pour in. But he, now, that one, that white one. I'm backing up, but like I know they're running. Mm. And so like I'm I just, I'm going as quick as I can. Yeah. Of course. You're I know that yeah. you are at yes. a, at less speed because yes. you want to keep facing can I them. Cast something to assist him? Um not when you're, not when you're in full away. run. Oh, okay. Not this turn. When you get to Yasa and you're like coming backing out onto the balcony or getting ready to back on the balcony, yes, but not this first turn. Okay. So it strides forward, Don't the demons are coming around it, getting Stable. situated. They're they're Shit. getting past the grease, a couple fall down, and then the rest of the demons just stomp on top of them uh, and make well, they they cover the grease with the bodies of their friends. Yeah. Well if we consider the grease at thirty seconds per turn, yeah. then the grease is gone it's in two turns, yeah. So they get over, and he's like stomping up to you, and says, "My master's eye is upon you." And this like baleful, like energy emanates from its eyes. I need to make a constitution save. Oh, so, luckily you got and some so Your master has no pull over mine. My um, master can beat up your master. I just want to make sure he still has saying. my protection from evil. Where's my good green die? He does. Does that give? What, does that give something to save Rose? I, I just want to make sure. Uh, I guess I'll disadvantage on attack rolls. Mm-hmm. We charm, frighten, or possess by the enemy. The target is already charmed. Uh, uh, Alright, I'll oh, use this yeah. one. No, this target is, this has is, advantage on any new no, saving throw. I'm going to use this one. Nice. The relevance. I, I, I yeah. made my statement with this die in my hand, so I'm going this one. Uh, you have advantage because he still has protection of evil for, on you. Oh, protection from that oh, that, that shit lasts hey. ten minutes, dog, and I was got you. A Thank you, my mm-hmm. lord. But I haven't had the concentration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on. Good thing you have oh, advantage. You, don't you have a good shite. constitution. That's not, shite. that's not a good roll. It's <laughs> no, not that's... a good roll. But 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 I, it's constitution. Mm-hmm. I'm a, Ugh. I'm a hardy boy. You, you are. Bad. I mean, you have. What is the? Uh, we always ask this, and I always forget. What is the paladin's uh, proficient saving throw? Not constitution. It's charisma. Or it's charisma like that? and wisdom. All right. So what you get? It's only a plus four, so thirteen. Oh, 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 yeah. oh so close. Yeah, no. What are you talking so about? Close. What do you mean to thirteen? You got a five. And a. And a one. What? That's a nine. This is a five. I thought it was a six. Even if... Either, oh! Either way, that doesn't make any sense. I thought it was a six. No, this is a five. So it's a five plus what was your constitution bonus? Three. Four. So you get eight. Oh, yeah. It's con is four, so... Nine. 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 Not to be a dick. We're all trying to play fair. Okay. Sorry. No, 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 no. Please. We'd already looked at, we were like, huh? What did I... I don't I know. I think I had an eight. No, I'm sorry. Anyway. Sorry. Anyway, nine. I fail. You fail. You do. Um, You, like, it hits you... And you just like your your will, your life, like just y- your bones and muscles start to like just ugh, everything feels so heavy. Uh, you have gained one level of exhaustion. What the fuck is that? <laughs> so, if you ever have six levels of exhaustion, you die. Okay. First level of exhaustion, you have disadvantage on all ability checks. Not attack rolls. Or saving throws, but anytime you have to make a strength or a dex check on its own, you have disadvantage. That is the first level. Even like a, anything for associated with those abilities? Uh, skills, yes. Okay. Skills associated with those abilities and, and that. Those are ability checks. So. All right. <laughs> Uh, and it's just like staring you down, and you're like, Ugh! I'm all out of holy juice. I'm yeah. out of spells. I'm out of channel divinity. Yeah. I'm out of everything. Until so, the that until dude, I gave you advantage on that, and you suck it up. So. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm. You get. It would have been worse if you had one. You and the dwarf get back to Ayasa at the open doors <laughs> to the balcony, and so you can turn around now. All right. He's still one turn away from getting to you. And he's now at he's at two turns away if he turns around and runs after he gets there. He'll be three turns away if he doesn't. Grease or sleep. You 
Sleep will be tough to pull off because like, these things have lots of hit points. Sleep is a... They also may be immune because they're otherworldly. Yeah, the grease has been effective. I mean, is sleep sleep can technically hit us as well? Right? No, I get to make it, a, I get to pick the. Point you can pick the spot and, and it emanates it from there. there. Yeah, so I can I can aim it away from. <coughs> it does some weird things, but uh, grease is probably a better idea because we've already seen they're vulnerable to it, and it can hit uh, everything. Like, if those are the options, then yeah, I would say grease. All right, because other like than that, it's me shooting arrows at stuff, which won't be as effective as. I'm oh, sorry, I added the wrong number. I see what I did wrong now with the constitution. Save. Not that it matters now. Sorry, we're we're past that. Like, it it smells just... like Jack Daniels. Like oh, God. Yeah. What smells like Jack Daniels? <laughs> he does. Oh. Like we're talking, and I'm like, Bleh. I just, I just don't. Like, no, it's not you. It's just I don't like Jack. Like, I mean, that's all that's in there. That yeah. I didn't use a mixer or ice this time. So let's. So I'm gonna make a. Face every time I take a zip. All right, what? I'm gonna grease in front of Rose Ross. Okay. So like just just pass Rose Ross. Yeah, yeah. I proclaim to the <laughs> just to make him slip. Like, okay, everybody, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sacrificial lamb. Yeah, that's We're it out. For spells for me too. I'm done after that. All right. God, you guys. What? We're keeping you alive. So didn't do damage. Just made me tired. What? Gave you exhaustion. It didn't do damage. It just made you tired. I've been fine this time. Trust me, this is. Party members. It gets worse. I'm wheeling and talking and wheeling and Um, having a good time. Yasa throws a fireball. (laughs) Thank you, Yasa. Everybody. (laughs) Well, it's good you're a one. I'm going to be using your little. I gave you one of my healing. Am I in the am I in the blast? No. <laughs> it comes like right up to your together. face almost. Uh, but she has the so she has the ability to resting. Yeah. We're doing fine. It's fine. It is fine. And we're probably not under. You also just threw a fireball, please. Yep. Uh, it slams into all the demons around the the big guy and all the ones around him. Uh, you see a couple scream and fall and hit the ground. Others get scorched the and, and uh, oh, fell in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You could go back on the tape. I mean, it's all it's all in there. But <laughs> <laughs> this has all been on camera. BM stands for Dick Master. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just joking. Joking. I didn't do it. I'm just kidding. I know we're talking. About it. I said sorry. Continue. Right. Um, I put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you <laughs> you like had it and like, like blink, while you were talking to him. You were like, no, you were telling, you oh, telling about your armor. Wolfmaster, we actually had a lengthy debate about that, and, and we we came to the conclusion that the, the grease is not flammable. It is. Wait, did we, we came to the I thought that it this is? game. I thought this game. We said it was. Well, I, thought, yeah. I thought. Oh, did we? Because I thought. I, I felt thought like this him. Game. I thought that we had said since it's normally not, then we'll just go ahead and not make it. Okay. Uh, either way, just. We'll state it. Oh, that's what that's that. what we decided was either way. And I think we were it has we'll to talk stick about it later. It. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll we'll discuss it later. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, we're using it right now. We really think it is. We have that it, conversation on camera as well. We could. It's yeah, we'll somewhere. It's back. somewhere in our thing. Um, it I was mean, something. I think like we had a game where we were playing, and like in the old rules, it specifically stated. It is not flammable. Yeah. Like it does not yeah, have yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. And what in I had it. said was because it takes a, a bit of pork rind, that's right. flammable. But butter is not. Yeah, and I'm like, you know, I, I love creative use of spells and effects and things like that. But I feel like we would so, have been using the shit out of that. It we would have been like, like lighting. It would be fire. natural fire, and it wouldn't be very much. Yeah, so like, let's, let's skip it then. Yeah, I, I, I think I think right. I felt like yeah. like we decided it was the big guy gets a little bit singed, but. The fire just kind of like seems to like lick off of him and like almost be repelled by. What were the by effects him. of grease okay. on these guys? Did anybody slip? And fall? Not, they haven't got to it yet. Oh, okay. It was you put grease in front of him and then she threw a fireball, okay. and so two hits on the the demons right now. Okay. All right. So this turn, uh, you are finishing your second jog to get to the the group. You're only jogging. Well, run jog being the. <laughs> leg of distance uh you don't know where everyone else is back it is but it's like their the demons are getting pretty damn close they're going to get pretty close to you this turn yeah, I, I, told them to, I, told, I told them to call me i told them to call me it's time you, to go are you just going to yell out when you he get did there? Say that. he did say that actually do you yell out when you get when you reach them uh, yeah 
or are you gonna wait to like you know turn around and get ready? Or are you just going to like as you're getting closing that distance, you go, let's go. Yes. Yeah. But so, I, I mean, I still would probably turn around yeah. because I know so we're still we're around. still gonna wait for row for us before we get our Ayasa spell, feather fall or whatever, and then jump off. Sweet. So, so they call. They so call he out. yells out. Okay. Uh, Gosh, God damn it, we're so good at jumping. All right, give one last... The balcony and then... <laughs> I give one last look to this demon. Ah, I turn and run. <laughs> All right. Uh, another con second throw? Oh, no. Oh, As oh, oh it, it's going to keep going. Okay. Let's see. He's, He's still, still gazing still down on you. Huh? Still Am I still advantage? advantage? Mm-hmm. It's ten minutes. Uh, much better. Uh, that's much, much better, better, yeah. It's going to be 18 plus okay. uh, 4. You resist the effects of the exhaustion this time. I'm not that tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now you're tired from yourself. The rest of, well, everyone <laughs> that's turned cats. around sees that uh, the the big, fat, white demon just, like, it sees the grease and it goes, like, its wings just, like, give a little, and it just kind of, like, hovers over the the... Thing. There's a couple other winged demons and demons that don't even have legs, like the shadow fiends, that don't aren't affected by the grease at all. The others hit it with various effects. Some fall, some don't. It starts stumbling up and blocking others, where others just step on the ones that are on the ground. It does cause a ripple of delay on all the ones that don't have flying. <clears throat> all right. Uh, you are turning and running, so... But he still has, what, two turns? No, he's, if he's turning and running, he'll get there at the end of this turn. Okay. okay. So, uh, cool. coming back around, what are you guys doing? You are all, all of you are now facing the demons, and he's running towards you. No, so you can no, throw no, spells, sorry. you can shoot, you can do all kinds yeah, of things. I can shoot, I can't throw any spells. Though. I don't know, um, shout, why hasn't the balcony collapsed? They're not on the balcony yet. No, okay. on the balcony. Like, we the door is to... open. They're waiting. We still have to find the balcony thing out, which is going to suck. By the way, inspiration for fucking up this whole balcony thing. <laughs> now that it's going to be... Now it actually means something. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say this looks good, but... It needs a... Spell slot I have zero. So, I mean, I guess I'll just shoot an arrow at the big white thing, because why not? Okay. How often do you get to shoot a big white thing? Uh, 12. 13, excuse me, 13. Uh, 13 misses. It goes back and hits some other demon. <laughs> you can't you can't swing a stick without hitting a demon in this room. Uh... Cessia. I did write down Cessia's name. Cressia. I'm going to make oh, some Cressia. tremors. On the oh, it's not parentheses. It's a C. That are harmless. Oh, it is parentheses. Oh, just like thaumaturgy. Like, like maybe some of the lesser demons will be like. Yeah, it won't stop the big guy, and but like, hey, maybe it's not a lesser coupled ones. with grease could screw some things up with people. Like, whoa! <laughs> All right, another fireball flies out, which is pretty much all of her high level spells. Damn, I guess I'm putting a lot, a lot into this. I don't know what it's you're it, holding on to your spells for. Do you see what's coming at us? We're doing our best right now. With she's little a, effect. She's an evoker. She's, <laughs> so she's funny. an evoker. This is what she does. Okay, uh, so that's all her third level spells. So, um,. Constitution saving throw. Again? Yep. Continuously. He's still looking at you. Alright, before you roll. We might be out of time. No, just. Out of time. Oh, no, that's really. fine. Oh, the spell, the spell. The spell no, 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 the spell is okay. fine. Which 10 minutes is 20. So, what did first, well, like that five. first level of exhaustion give him? Penalties to all checks. Does that include this? No. Save if there's not uh, a check. Level 3 is disadvantage Sorry. on attack rolls and saving throws. 
So if you get to level three exhaustion, you right. will lose your advantage. I just wanted to make sure that no. my advantage wasn't canceled out by a disadvantage. Nope. Not on this. If you were to roll any skill or any raw trait, he would take disadvantage. But that's not what he's doing in this game. Yikes! Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm <not laughs> to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. fine. That's a the, 61. Yeah, the next one. Uh, <laughs> The, the next one would be real terrible because it's level two exhaustion is speed halved. Oh no! Delaying you to get okay. to the balcony. I'm fine. Right, so you get to the balcony. You guys are all at the balcony. Hey, let's go. Careful, it will fall. Wait. He also still has spell slots available for. Yeah, she has first fall. level. She has first okay. level spell oh, slots. Oh yeah. 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 Jump. Jump. Ah, oh shit, I'm done. Like, I'm out. Like, TPK, no. you just don't tell us that Yasa has no spells. <laughs> you guys jump, and I'm like, oh yeah, guys. Here, guess what, I got something see. for you. <laughs> like, wow. He just, just like just... subtly, personally <laughs> orchestrated the death of this campaign. <laughs> Welcome to Castle Never. Bye. And your next group has to go in and find all that shit everyone lost. In the... Oh man. It's now, it's now in the Never Neath. Good luck. Um... All right, so he just got there. He's out of movement, but I'm if here. someone wants to like start the show, like you can nope. start jumping. I'll run out on the patio first because I'm pretty sure it's going to collapse. I'll get it, I'll get the ball rolling. Okay, because I'm dexterous enough to. Uh, uh, when you around. get there, the dwarf starts scribing into the ground with a, his staff again. So it looks like he's drawing another rune uh, outward oh. at the patio. You run out of the balcony. And then turn to slide backwards and get ready to fall. It doesn't fall. Damn. It's uh, It feels really sturdy. It's, it's an old, old trap. It's not we're wrong, roll for us. It's uh, an old trap. Yeah, it's good. Hey, the trap is old. It has failed. Mm. Oh, what <laughs> trap? Totally, I would say. <laughs> That's strong dwarven construction out there. So says he. <laughs> <laughs> He uh, slams down, he draws the room, slams down his thing, and this kind of like reverberation, like this shimmering, reverberating field comes up from out of the room. That would have been a very Isarok thing to say. This trap has failed because of the age of it. I mean, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Fucking asshole. Oh, yeah. It's got to happen, right? God, Isarok was such a dick. So, <laughs> he was such a he was yeah, such great, great character. character but, out here. Well, it's just sitting there underneath everything. I can't ever put it away. I have some of them. We all have Okay, our so he's out there and he's stated that it's not falling. And the dwarf has said, why would it fall? It's strong dwarven construction. We don't have time to argue about this. What are we doing now? Well, and the balcony has an end, but it's just a turn away. Okay. <laughs> we should keep running. Yeah. All right. Uh... Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still advantage? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Seventeen plus four so for twenty-one. You guys all start running a, like to the edge of the balcony, and that's like if anyone's looking over their shoulder or whatever, the demons hit that barrier and it's like it puts them into slow motion. Like mm. as they have to like Really? push through that barrier. It's like the Minds of Destiny 2. Yeah. Uh, so they're pushing through, hey, but so there's also demons coming out the windows on the side now, onto the onto the balcony. But you guys can get to the end of the balcony this turn. I don't see Pringle, do I? Cackle? Oh, no. Cackle, I know. <laughs> you do not see Cackle. I call him something different every time I love it. Her. Your size, you're still ready. Um, so you guys get out there. He is no longer within 60 feet. So his gaze is now fallen off of you. So you don't have to make a roll this turn. But you guys are at the edge of the balcony. I guess I'm going to jump first. Has they also like, cast a uh, no, You have to be falling for her to cast feather fall. Oh, okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> Tell us that. Well, I'm, I'm used to it. I've, I've been That's That's floats. fine. I just want to make sure like she's still doodly. So she was up to five that. falling creatures within range. Then I would she say can't like, pre-cast it. Yeah, so, uh, follow my lead. and I'll, I'm going to jump and I'm going to turn over so that if I have to, I can attack back up the, okay. up the balcony. So, you guys I say wait. It's too late. I've already jumped. For the others. 
Oh. Don't <laughs> make it. <laughs> 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 I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. We're jumping. Okay. And one. Because we're calling me stupid. I have like, a fucking rod of him. Like if the dwarf hasn't jumped yet. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Like I'm he, grabbing him. He, he looks like, he looks like hesitant. He jumps up there. He's like, are you sure her magical work? And you're like, I give him more of those like punches <laughs> in the back. Like you're coming off the edge with us. All right. Okay. He... So you guys all jump. You jump. And that's when Ayasa turns to you and says, "I'm totally on spell slide." <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, that's when Ayasa turns to you and says, "Do you want me to use it right away?" You tell us! No, she, he's got to make the well, decision. Oh, right. Should we float so, slowly now, or should we fall several stories away? Because we might want to fall faster to get away from this, but can she cast as she's falling with us? She can cast as she's falling. It it takes... It's a free, it's a reaction, I think. So she cast it like at any time, as long as there's falling people around her. Ooh. You just all have to stay together. Right. You all I'm, have to be within 60 feet of her. As we talk, I'm like... Ah. I know, I know. Like, we're all like, ah, you know. Well, you, this is like, you you know how spells yeah, work. Yeah, you know what her course. magic is, so. Uh, what if she, she gets shot? What if she gets, what if, what if some of them, just... one of them throws like a lightning bolt and blasts her nothing? Or like her component, she's like, oh, yeah. the feather, shit. <laughs> it's well, too late, we've already she, made it. She should be jumping at the same time. Yeah, you all are jumping. No, you no, all are no, off the It's not like we're all jumping one at a time like we're. Skydivers. No, I know, I know. I'm imagining we have this conversation while falling. You are not having this conversation while falling. He turned to her and said, or she turned to him and said, asked that question. No, wait a minute. A full (laughs) minute? All right. So you guys are falling. Wait two turns. I didn't. He said, you are not feather falling, you are fall falling. Like, this does not do I shoot an arrow and just, it like, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, Yeah, you're just. Heading down, and you said you turned around. I'm Everyone busy. else, I'm assuming, is just like, oh, falling. Yeah. And that's when you, like, it doesn't take long, and you see that big, fat, white demon come off. You see at least four rocks, which look like vulture people, jump off. And you see two of those shadow fiends jump off. And they're just, they're tucked in, heading straight down. As fast as possible to, to reach you. And they're using their wings. Alright, well. Can anyone see far enough to see the landing? Oh, oh it is it is way far below you. Uh, you are looking down on a city, like, just... The tallest building of the city is still far, far below you. Okay. Uh, What's below you is like because you're up on an island is the is water. We'll just dive into the water. Yeah, <laughs> that's how that works. Um, yeah. What uh? What's the plan now? I'm gonna shoot one of them. So you see him shooting <laughs> <laughs> up. <laughs> What if you miss? Would that land back on top of us? Uh, eventually. My terminal velocity is greater than that of an arrow. It'll never catch back up. I mean, it has to come down eventually. You'd land, and then I'd be like, oh, yeah, minutes me. later, it would come back down. <laughs> minutes? Uh, yeah. It might be a little bit. It would depend. If we're falling as far as it sounds like, yeah, it might take... Because it has to go minutes. reach its zenith point for however long it's good traveling, then turn around and fall its terminal velocity down. I'm no engineer. I'm not going to do the math, but also he's not shooting it straight up. He's shooting it at an enemy that's uh-huh. at an angle. Yeah, 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 so. Yeah, yeah. so I'm just going to, because we're falling, I'm just like, I can't talk. I mean, presume I need to yell to Ayasa, like, hold. Holding. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll add in right now. As, ah! <laughs> as scary as this is right now, like, we definitely. I would literally be the only one that's not scared because I've been the fucking dragon balloon several times. I'm wearing all that uh, armor. Should, which one are you shooting at? Uh, whatever's closest was one of those vulture things, right? Okay. Yeah. A rock. Uh, 23. Uh, 23 will hit. With an 11 damage. Sitting in the corner playing hurdy-gurdy. 
How many did I say of those things there were? Four. There were two vultures, two demon things that fly. Two shadow fiends? Two shadow fiends, yeah. So it's four, I think, all together. And then the big dude. All right. You did how much? Eleven. Anyone else doing anything on this turn? I mean, I could throw a javelin. Is... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ugh. No, you could. I, I, you absolutely right. could. It'd be, it would be disadvantaged because of the fall. Uh, yeah, like, trying to throw it. Yeah. Trying to throw it against the fall. Yeah. I could do some sacred play. Uh, you can do some sacred play if you want. Yep. I mean, I don't know what its I'm gonna, save would be at this point. I'm gonna try. Uh, they're like, flying. Uh, they they can fly, so it's just normal. I feel pretty distracted. Um. Yeah, well, this one, which one are you shooting? Or uh, the one that he just wants to, <sighs> or just hit. I I you hit. Well, hang on, he's doing his thing first. Save that throw for a second. Yeah. yeah. No, no, what is it? You, 16, you're all yeah. attacking at the same time. 16, 16 for the bad hits. Ones. Yeah, and then you hit also. On disadvantage? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Oh, disadvantage was 12 plus whatever. 12 plus. Yeah, yeah, 4. Oh, so 16. 16. Yeah, so it was 16 anyway. At least 4, five, probably 6, 7, 7 now. Anyway. Uh, roll damage for both of you guys. Are you attacking the same rock that got hit with the arrow? Yeah, 19. That's a 19. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, because I saw him. Because he's below me. I see him turn around and shoot the arrow. Yeah, I saw him like everyone. You like, uh, roll over and... Yeah. Ah! And like you just kind of like aim it correctly so that he he's flying down and falling and he kind of runs into the javelin That's right. from your throw. Yeah. I uh, did 8 damage. It's 19. Radiant it matters. How much damage? Yeah. Oh, damage, right. I forgot this thing hurt. Uh, that's going to be a... It's with straight, so uh, it's going to be a six. Oh, so he takes three. Oh, you see it's just going kind of like... Uh -huh. kind of shatter. Non-magical. Um, are we... Should able throw my to sword. Tell at this point, like, are they gaining ground <laughs> by flying, or are we keeping so, distant? Do you know what falling speed is? Just general falling. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, either way, you actually, know, it like kind of the, the realistic physics. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the realistic physics. Because realistic physics doesn't matter. I need to know I, what it is I in the kidding. turn structure. Feather fall. Uh, the, 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 you're not feather. You, how, I don't know how far yeah. do you fall per turn? Just saying. Yeah. Um, the difference is that these guys have fly, so they add a fly speed. Free falling motion isn't tackled in the rules. Distance fallen falling speed is your average velocity during the fall would be square root of sixteen. <laughs> D. Huh. So if, it, um, if we're asking, if we're asking, <coughs> is Christ. Flying, flying down is absolutely faster than diving down. Right. Hawks do it all Hawks, the time. Yeah. yeah. So they are gaining on you. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Five hundred feet per full turn. Santhar's Guide to Everything, page seventy-seven, gives this optional rule for rate of falling particularly for long falls. When you fall from a great height, you instantly descend up to 500 feet. If you're still falling in your next turn, you descend up to 500 feet at the end of that turn. This process continues until the fall ends. Yeah. So in the grand scheme of things, they're going 560 feet because they're actually adding their movement because they fly. Yeah. yeah. And you guys are just like, so you both are going 500, but they can move uh -huh. in their flying. Yeah, yeah. So... In their fall, we are essentially stationary in this. Yep, and they are. Do you ever see that? Uh, so back in the day, Penny Arcade did a. They were in an airship, and a dragon hit it, and everyone was falling. So they were falling from above the cloud line down, and he did a six-tier plastic, clear plastic, with like tokens for this bits of the familiar, ship. This sounds familiar, actually. I, mean, I, think, I think we have talked yeah. about this. Yeah, yeah. it was bits of the ship, and you somewhere. could you could you could hold yourself out, and you could go up tiers and you can like you know dive yeah. down and go down tiers but they were fighting a dragon while you, falling you did share you, something you that was up when you still had facebook it was on our message yeah board. i remember this yeah, yeah. so yeah. good all right 
Is there any more Stella in there? Oh, yeah. You want to Stella? I'm going to kill take a Stella. Uh, we're about to wrap it up. Okay. So, um, just, just a side note in case you want to know 500 feet is 50 stories. This is 10 feet per story. So, if this thing's 100 stories, it's two turns. No, this is a lot more than 100 stories. 200, 300. I'm just giving it in case you were curious about storage. 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 This thing is a fantastical. That's uh, what I I figured. Oh, oops. This thing is a fantastical uh, magic made tower. You know what's up. From the Age of Elves. Uh, So, you guys are going to be falling for a while. All right, so this is your reality. You have five demons chasing you down of a fall. You need to stay together within 60 feet of each other. Uh huh. If any of these things grab you or move you away from that, then that's pretty much a death sentence. I've thrown terminal velocity for a human is right around 2 to 250, depending. 210, I think, is what the average is. Depending on uh, weight, I, already, I just kind of knew that one off the top of my head because yeah. it's something we learned in skydiving and stuff like that. But because we're doing it in turns, Xanathar's Guide to Everything states 500 feet per turn, so 30 seconds, 500 feet. Yep. All right. Uh, this is that's what's on your plate for. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was listening. But okay. that's I was just answering Wolf Masters. Yeah, no, that's great. Ultimately, uh, you're going to probably have anywhere from six to ten turns of falling. Okay. Uh, As long as we don't separate. Or if we do separate, we have to instantly fall. All right, well, let's let's play it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is the home stretch here. We've got... Yeah, well, let's 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 we got, actually we got let's thirty just, more. Let's minutes. figure out this fall. Let's, let's, let's right. figure out this fall. I don't have any school right Come now. Come on, so. let's 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 break it down. We we keep talking about th- physics and theoretics. Let's not let's... Break, we're not breaking anything down. We're you're yeah. in turn based combat with these yeah. things. We're very so let's very let's do it. Let's do it. We're talking about physics too. I was just getting to the point about how yeah. we were finding this yeah. after its fall. Race. We're still not doing it. Let's do it. All right. Well, I'm liking this. Uh-huh. Yes. Initiatives. Let's, all right, initiative. Okay. Last initiative every goddamn time. Is that a 17? Oh, baby. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? That's where I wanted to go was last. No, no, you're not going last. Mm. I'll do you roll bad. What's your initiative bonus? Zero. Oh, okay, so I just barely went before you. I was saying, like. You actually have dexterity, and I have zero, so <laughs> I'm, <laughs> whenever I roll dex or anything, I... Sephiroth. Is that four? Four. Zero next. You rolled a four? Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, Twelve. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> barely... Roll frost. No, you rolled an eleven. No, roll frost. when I set it down. It um, can I aim? Does that help? Will that help cancel out if I aimed? For your... Or is it still just disadvantage because of the whole situation? In the it's di- it's yeah, it's just advantage. Yeah, it's just advantage I mean, just for for throwing it up. Yeah, if it gets down to your level or below you, then that'll go away. I thought we were rolling initiative. Yeah. Oh, did you already? It's my turn first. Yeah. Oh, you rolled you, a nineteen. Got, yeah. Okay, sorry, I missed right. you. So, so, so this, is you, third, <laughs> this is my third. This my. Did you do the initiative? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. This my fourth. I'm this is my fourth javelin throw. I only have six of these. So I I only have one more after this throw. Wolfmaster got a seventeen for initiative. Nice. Thanks, Wolfmaster. Help us, please. Can I take Wolfmaster? That's or? gonna be a miss, I oh, think. It's a disadvantage, sorry, that's, yeah. that's a three. Yeah. Uh yeah, uh plus it's plus seven, that's a nine. So And you already know that they like you feel that these things have resistance to non magical weapons. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. But I gotta do demons. something. You gotta do something. So that's what you do, and it misses. Okay. Oh man. Uh <laughs> bard, you half elven bard. Who's second? Ayasa. I hate being the third third turn rogue where I'm like, why do I go third every yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. I'm always like fourth or fifth when we play. Can you remind me exactly what enemies are coming after us right now? So there's two Vrocks, bad, which are vulture looking bad. demons. There's two shadow fiends, which are those things that were devouring the undead in the okay. museum. 
and that one pasty white Big corpulent wings. angel winged thing. Yeah. Um, so far, you guys have been putting damage into one of the Vrocks, and you've already got. Um, you didn't. You haven't really done anything to that main guy. Um, yeah, because we want to get away from that guy. But he's just fa- he's just coming down with us. Well, what he's the hell got, are we gonna do? He's got wings. Yeah, initially, we thought like we'd be able to escape by jumping out of here. Yeah, damn it. We needed Gandalf to say, "You shall not pass." We did. The dwarf stopped a bunch of stuff from coming mm-hmm. through. Only only five things are after us. She's going to scorching <sighs> ray. She's going to hit the two shadow demons and the Vrock that's wounded. I love hearing this. Every time you do like, that's one of my favorite parts about Shadowrun was just do like, <laughs> like yeah. dropping twenty two dice. You're like, yeah. <laughs> well, see, I'm very charismatic. <laughs> He's at a disadvantage. I'm wearing this. I'm wearing that. I yeah. have these tools, all this stuff. You're like, okay, cool. Roll, roll twelve d six. That was a fun game, dude. There's so I much kinda discussion. Miss, I, I kind of miss. Oh, I know. I kind of miss it though, dude. I kind of, this has been more fun for me recently just because it's real, like, we know what we're doing, we get it done, yeah, we yeah, play. Yeah. You haven't used your spell stone yet, have you? My, this guy hasn't used anything. Like, Pearl Power. Yeah. 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 No. Take this new shit. Pearl Power? Yes, Pearl Power. And you also have uh, the Ring of the Ram, which reminds you of that. Mm-hmm. Ring of the Ram! I know. Uh, for an robber, I should just use that every time we do anything. She hit all three of them, scorched we into... We haven't used it once! Yeah, real quick. We have used it once. Yeah. Um, Scorched into the two shadow demons, which both seem resistant to fire. And also burn the Vrock, who also seems to be resistant to fire. Freaking demons. So, my question with the Ring of the Ram, if I used it... And it hits, would it actually push them away and not push me farther it down push them away. everyone else? It's just like if you stand there and use it, it pushes things away without yeah, pushing it's you a back. Magical, yeah. same it's magical. It's not a force. It's not like there a... Isn't a sure there isn't a recoil to it. There isn't a recoil to it. Yeah, no, it's a question. Like, no, yeah. totally. It's, a, yeah, I mean, it, it's just like we were saying earlier, fuck physics. This is a magical game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah if, it, if it was a... If it was a like a mechanical thing, it absolutely probably would have recoil that would push us down as well, but... Yeah, this is just probably just outward magical force. Um, good thought. I like I like more talk about using the ring of the ram. I'm a fan. <laughs> so <laughs> the ram. ram. What should uh, no I'm a fan sorry. Of the ram. I was like, um, they also went. Then they go. <laughs> I was gonna say I know I'm going last. I'm gonna pretend they rolled like... higher than a twelve. They did. Maybe. Yay, magic indeed. Roll better. We really could use a half elf bard in this Four. party. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not supposed to go first or anything. I know. I'm pretty frustrated <laughs> by it. I'm like, I'm, I'm the fucking rogue, and I go for it. <sighs> My only thing is that one of my spells helps He's the, the ring next brand. attack. Uh, sadly, right now that would be Rofres. He's just throwing these weak ass javelins. The two. <laughs> we used up our magic. The two Vrocks like just tuck oh, in and oh, double me. move, and they get down to flank either side of you guys. Um. So I'm saying you jumped off first, then you pushed the dwarf off. So it's pretty much like you and the dwarf and you, and then Ayasa and you. You're kind of like in a the five pips of a die. You're like this with you in the middle. But it's pointed so, down though, so it's like me. It's two, yeah, two. in in the thing, but you're not without sixty feet. Yeah. So you're kind of in this formation. You're a little bit lower than other people's, but it's. Dwarfin, you know, Dwarfin, uh, Saffroth, and then Ayasa Yu, and then you're in the middle. So they've come down on either side, so they're pretty close to both uh, you and you and the Dwarf and Ayasa, because they've come down on the side of this figure five or this five pip. Um, That's them. They don't do anything else because they kind of concentrated on getting to where you guys are at. 
They, they double moved, essentially. Uh-huh. Um, the Shadow Fiends are having a hard time keeping up. They're not as fast as the Vrox or this other thing. Uh, so they're just taking their entire turn, and they're still probably... they're. They'll be able to attack, move and attack you next turn, but they spend their entire turn just trying to get to you guys. Now the big guy. Sun's getting real low, big guy. He's moving normally and saying, You cannot escape his gaze! Saving throw. Just to him still, though? Yep. No, just to me? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you still have an advantage on this, dude. Take <sighs> he wants you. Take advantage of your advantage. Yeah! Hey, that's yeah, that's really a 20. Good. But you get advantage, so it's a natural 20. I rebuke it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you get advantage, so it's uh, <laughs> and So it's the best roll you can roll. I just, I, just, I, just look at him, I just look right back at him. I say, we seem to be making a good pace of it. Ooh, don't talk. I'm undaunted. I'm a fool. <laughs> yeah, it's true. This is the one time I'm like taunt away. Because there's no like accessibility. I mean, there's no like talking these things down. Like they're coming for us. Gotcha. There's no like avoiding this. All right. Uh, so that's all of fourteen. So now we go to twelve. I'm so good at night. All right. Go so I'm going to go. thank you. I'm going to make uh, kind of a ten foot circle of what looks like sparkly knives. Out of my press digitation it doesn't do anything. It's just an optical illusion to kind of oh, try to shit. to kind of try to separate them, make them dodge it. Oh, just which ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Which what ones? A great use uh, of the the shadow. rocks because they're the closest. I want to make sure they kind of. Scatter. Now there's one on either side, and press digitation is a small, so you could affect one or the other. Let's do. The you one. could affect the big guy, or you could probably affect both the shadow demons. <sighs> I feel like the big guy wouldn't give a the shit. The shadow demons probably won't give a shit because they're kind of let's do whatever corporal, is, whatever Brock is closest to Ayasa. Okay, so good call, good uh, call. All right, press to digitate that. Shit. Uh, yeah, he absolutely like tries to dodge. Like he, you force him to make a saving throw, which puts him out of movement. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, ah, you kind of like that's an arcade trick uh, here, right there. <laughs> that is good. You waste shit. his action for I the next you, turn. Being a balloon is where I'd be the best. <laughs> <laughs> Are we falling? I'm on top of this shit. You're going to pioneer a new oh, section. Oh, seriously. I was like, hey, let's get off this. Come follow me. Like, the I future of gold like, is going to be Sky Raiders. I can tell. <laughs> yeah. Is it Four's turn yet? It is Four's it's turn. Four's <laughs> turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we had four, four yet. Yeah. <laughs> we had four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remind me what exactly I used to hit with Ring of the Ring. Um, Because it... All I'm reading right now is that it makes an attack roll with a plus seven bonus, but it doesn't tell me what kind of attack roll. I'm assuming it's. Uh, is that in your character sheet? Well, yeah, it's on the. I mean, so plus seven is what it is because it does the math for you. You know, linking arms, it, it, that is a good idea, but like... But so, so these these I just demons, roll a, right? Wolf Master. You roll a d20 plus, plus 7. seven. Like, <laughs> if, if they pull us apart, we have to we have to stop them. We yeah, have to keep that's them. That's fine if that's what it is, I guess. Yeah, I just... I know you want to know. Like, I'm curious, too, what it is. Look at the RAM. It's amazing. Nope, it's just a base plus seven. Like, period. So just d20 plus seven. Yep. So it's its own. It has its own bonus. The ram. All right. What? How many charges are you putting into it, and who are you hitting? I'm gonna put all three into the big guy. Yeah. Come on. That's right. That's my Lord Savros. <laughs> Seventeen plus yeah! seven for twenty-four. That hits. Hopefully that hits. <laughs> Mark all three charges. Fifth edition has got to hit. Twenty-seven's got to hit. Two d ten, and is pushed five feet away from you for each charge. For each charge. So six d ten. Six d ten. And how many? Like you said, ten feet or five feet. Five ten. So fifteen feet. Fifteen feet. But also in the fall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Damn. Yeah. 
Yeah, right. That was nice. <laughs> The 16. amount of damage you're gonna roll. Back, you fiend! Do you need some extra D10s over I there? I have. I have a mulligan. I'm using some of the dice I maybe shouldn't use. Uh, these are D10s, right? Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Just don't read those. I know. Oh, yeah. so, oh yeah, that's no, a 20 that and a 50! Yeah, yeah. Hey, there's at least one 10 out there in the world. That's nice. Yeah, that is and nice. And double zero is 10. Um, if you got right, it on so one 5, those. 10, 20, 24, 26. Jesus Christ, that ring is awesome. It is. 29. It's really random. It's so awesome. I know. We 29. never use it. It's just basically a four shotgun. Yeah. Why did you fucking... <laughs> Uh, so the problem is that it can really be a little over. We can really hurt each other with it yeah. and stuff. So, uh, ha- being that you're falling, I'm gonna double the impact of it. It's like, oh, so, it's, it's like it's getting like, like, right. Yeah. Ah. So it gets put diving back, right towards it. Yeah, like thirty feet yeah, back. Yeah, he's that's all like, he's like <laughs> his wings are like. He's not prepared to fly. Like you really <laughs> fucked up his. He, he's just falling for the next turn. You not fucked flying. his funky float. <laughs> and did <laughs> and did twenty nine damage to him. <laughs> and you just like like he's like coming down. Like his gaze is on him. Like yeah. You see him like now like, who's the gaze? <laughs> so he is he is out for one turn. Gaze uh, will lie now. Though. All right. What? No. <laughs> that was four. <laughs> wow. Initiative of four. I love it. Uh, 19. Rofros. There's uh, a rock to your side. Is a rock to my side? Yep. I mean, I'm going to go pee and I can't move. Tour. Like, is you it. can't move. Hitting, like, you can't pee up. Like, you just. just like, ha, ha, I don't know if you, you haven't been skydiving, but. I have a cloak. Yeah. That's you, a cape. Don't, you don't even need that. Like wow. you can move wow. in the air. Wow. Oh, can you? Yes. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> Not Mario Three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my pee. Or Super Mario World. I probably like, would have like, that. That made me closer to Jesus. You were falling like this way, and then this thing came on the side, and you realized that if you like took in this arm, you go that way. Do I? Do I? <laughs> that is a as air novel. Now sense. I do. I do want to. You are dragonborn. You kind of have a natural <laughs> understanding of flight. Eventually, you guys can get wings. What? Yeah, that is. Yeah, that is a dragonborn trait that you can take later on. If we you, adopt the, the word dragons, which we are not, because dragons are bad guys. Well, you're dragonborn, and you're good guys. So you have a heritage a certain of level it. We can so. Get. So, all right. Well, hell, I'll dive into a rock. Are you kidding me? There's like, one you can, range. You no, know, you can move over and attack it. Like you can get within. How range far away is it? Is it how far? How how close to the edge is that going to take me? It's like ten feet away from everyone else. So you'll just be moving ten feet. Well, you're you still well within 30? sixty. Sixty. Yeah. Oh, you're still well within the sixty. I'll dive. Yeah. Well, they are far away from home now, so you don't need a Dragonborn. But this is an all-Dragonborn campaign. I'm going to use my advantage. Okay, what'd you get? Uh, not a natural one, I'll tell you that okay. much. <laughs> it keeps bumping into my lip. Uh, like, messing you up. Yeah. Just stick your tongue out next time He asked me to put this one in there. I didn't... <laughs> Sorry, I'm using my phone, so it's a little slower. That's going to be a 24. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> With my magic sword, my 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 single-edged I curved didn't, gray sword. I didn't... Uh, Is that the dragon weeb? I'm a samurai. I didn't take... I didn't state which side the injured one is on, so I'm going to roll that real quick to see if you're okay. the injured. Yeah, yeah, injured. please. I would just... It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a choice it on is, my part. It would just be whoever was there. It's the non-injured. So okay. go, go I for only attacked the one that was just closest to my office. Um, oh, see. yeah, yeah. You attacked the one that's closest to I didn't pick an injured one or anything. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, I tried to distract the yeah. one that was closest to my So. I'm just uh, seeing if I, I can't. One of those terrible javelins. I no, he's uh, attacking the sword. Because it's right next to him. Good. What? That's what I want to do is like aim it so it's just right and put my movable rods and just like missiles through oh the yeah that would fucking ruin someone's it. day but you would never would get that thing rod. back yeah, it would just be like you'd have to get like a fly like 
She'd have to levitate you for one day to like get all the way back up there and it get would your be rod. So awesome. I can't. <laughs> like if I had two, I'd be like, "Guess I what can't, I'm doing? Uh, I'm out. Of, I have. I, I'm exhausted. I, I have, have no spells, holy power I can nothing. put in through this. But I am a great weapon fighter. Yep. So I do get to re-roll, re-roll ones and twos. Well, Correct. Master, you can't Is be the green. sword? It's magical. You have to be uh, metallic. One. Oh yeah, the gold death clan. Goldath clan is is un, oh. unlike others. They're yeah, overwhelming, not, yeah. overwhelmingly metallic based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is the great sword two d six or is it one d ten? Is question two d six two d six. So yeah, I remember the ma- the mall is like two d six. I just I thought the sword was something different. Yeah, it was in third edition, but now they're both two d six. What chromatic is considered like? Kind of is the evils yeah most dragonborn now are just kind of reddish brown like yeah like you can't even tell but like we're weirdly distinctive we're like magical. we're we're unusual we're in magically way. inclined it's a characteristic clan, yeah. of our clan that separates us from other dragonborn clients right all that's right all, that's all home <laughs> right? find that, so. and you can be right. whatever you four, want four. you don't even have that's to be from their clan all right so four four um it's gonna be two to six plus five so it's going to be 8 plus 5 for 13 damage altogether for just a naked hit. You cut up into it. Uh. It screeches out at you. Yeah, I've rock you too. And that's it. That's it. Are the rocks the one that don't take damage from... Fire. Um, Not magical. Yeah. Or is it the shadow fiends? Both. Or yeah, probably. Everything. Actually, all five of these things are yeah, resistant no, to non like, Or all of the above. I demons. Guess. Demons are a hardy folk. They like their damage resistance and damage immunity section is pretty packed. Can I take a short rest as we fall? Yes. <laughs> Just <laughs> in thirty minutes, you can fight again. <laughs> what happened to Zero? Like, I'm just going to take uh, a nap. Take a fucking short rest. Zero next. Right. What do you do on your turn? Damn it! I hope, nothing hits. I hope nothing hits me and breaks my short rest. Hey, um, did um, Ben Rumble thing do an initiative? Is he? Oh, no, I guess I. Oh should. yeah, what is he? I should. Or, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cancel his first turn out just from fear. Like he's like, like, what the fuck are like, we doing? He's not good with falling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, ah. I drop like a stone. <laughs> so I just didn't think till now he's kind of like that random NPC that like he was willing to fight earlier. He's already done yeah, some now stuff. He's Scottish, and like would he just be like Scottish? I'm like like falling, your demons coming. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything. Right. I mean, I get it. It's a joke. He, uh, like, is this a fucking joke? To he you? is a, a fucking game. He, he is a diplomat, but he is also a dwarf from a dwarven kingdom of old. So you seems know, to be a fight. wizard. Uh, he's a rune. Room caster. He yeah, technically got no tossed. Dwarf he can't cast sit it. idly by and yeah. let anything happen. Yeah, he can't do much room Rock casting here because he can't inscribe his runes on anything. I like, I like the idea of just cast cut being, him being arcane clerics. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. What? Right. Nothing. We're just talking about deep meta. Deep, deep, deep meta. Deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Rumblefin actually has an 18. So... <laughs> Oh. What uh, a dick move. If any of you guys do that to me. Now, I understand. Can't. Hold on. Have you done that to me? No. <laughs> understand that he did it to him. He pulled did, it out of his I beard did do to it put to him it in first. That, so. Is there a fucking piece of paper in my drink? No. There is not. No, I did it to him. He did it back to me. We're fair. Anyway. So, Rumble Thane is holding his staff in one hand. Uh, he's got his rumble staff. And he like he kind of tucks out under his his axes at his side. And he reaches down and he starts fooling with his keys. That big key ring he has at the side. He's like... Damn it. Kind of pulls it up. Asshole's trying to unlock something. Yep. We're falling. <laughs> well, hold on. He might be going somewhere with this. He is the Lockbeard. Uh, yeah, so he... <laughs> like, By the way, we refer to him as yeah, Lockbeard. That's exactly what he's doing. Is that what he's doing? Yeah. Yeah. He has, he has, he has, he has padlocks, has padlocks his, in his beard. Lock, so yeah. he pulls out a key and puts it into one of the padlocks on his beard. Oh, come beard. on. Unfortunately, him falling and trying to do all this at one turn is delaying. Like He can't get him fast, so that's his turn. That's okay, his, his that's fine. Okay. Getting that done. So He's full he, of mystery, I like it. Yeah. 
<laughs> he's bald of nature. kind not really but no it's more like he's more like he, he's <laughs> he's a dwarven gatekeeper but yeah. also he was the gatekeeper of the most important forge in the yeah, Dwarven I also, I'm kind of he, picturing every braid of his he beard was as like a dead school, a, a school of my man. idea you know what I mean? back <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I just I have an IQ of 143 <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing I'm just like I just was telling no one gives a shit Wes, about I kids. was like he was super dead and a ghost <laughs> and my idea brought his ass back <laughs> I mean granted you allowed that to happen yeah, but I, still I did that all right. but, I mean, <laughs> technically, it was my idea. I literally told these guys to shut the f up so I could throw. He my did idea do that, actually. He's the fucking prince. Because I was like, "Stop talking over me." He was not those hair. He <laughs> <laughs> got so bad. <laughs> me? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have those. <laughs> and you're like, "Who's too? Is it God? Wizard Harry? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, it was God. What the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> this is exciting. It is. Oh, she doesn't have it prepared. That would be a... M- oh, does she? <laughs> I mean, you're the game master. You yeah. Well, no, I have these specifically turned. <laughs> I have these specifically turned because they are not prepared spells. So she has this one prepared. Wait, alarm is you didn't tap. You didn't tap her no. alarm. Alarm is not prepared because she does it as a ritual. She should just oh, set an okay. alarm right now. How, mu- how much red damage does she have? How much what? Red matter. Uh, I'm making jokes. She casts <laughs> Tensor's Floating Disc. No! Yes! Oh. Yes! Uh, and is kidding? using it as a shield. Yes. <laughs> Holy so shit. So there is now a... <laughs> it's ten feet, right? Uh, a one inch thick, three foot diameter... Disc. Disc. It's my, it's my fucking... Rod. It's my rod idea. <laughs> well, but it, but it to... stays within five feet or ten feet of her or whatever. Oh, so it, it it's just me. falling. Give me less. But she's putting it between her and that rock you you pushed away. And she's like, Neek. and she's like going to be angling this thing as a shield. <laughs> she can she move it like that? Because yeah, it, cool. it follows her and she can control it. where it is mm-hmm. around you. It. Normally she it's on the corner. She her. can't ride it because it only follows. Oh, yeah. you, you put stuff on it, mm. but it's always near her. She can control where it's at. Normally, when you're That's walking right, on the ground, it stays within a distance of you. Right, normally it's on the ground. So she now, now she's now in this three dimensional space. She's what like, a Bink. fun use! Of- <laughs> I think this is the only That's time I've falling. ever seen anyone actually have a use for that spell uh, that is not hauling something Loot. heavy on. It. Right, yeah. yeah. Saying, he also dude. gets inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> she should. She should. I mean, that's, that's falling that's is totally like my best work. This is where shit starts happening. We're yeah, falling. Yeah, yeah. Like, what can I throw? Spikes also, how many? How you many, can't throw anything. How many games? I mean, we haven't played very many, but like, how many games have you guys played where you actually jump off the edge of something and you fall for a long time? I mean, it happens in D D quite a bit. I mean, you're, you're going up to towers and castles. And, I'm yeah. legitimately just asking the question. I'm yeah. not, like, this is this is this is. Absolutely the biggest fall I ever had. That well, there was this one time I was in the an elemental so dimension happens. of air. Yeah. So but it's everything is falling. Everything is falling. Yeah, yeah. There is no is it, ground. I've been floated it's, several times too, which uh, acts as a fall. Like uh, I would say in the games that we played, we played most of our games together besides like you guys' forty K game. I don't remember a time where we just jumped off a cliff or an edge of something and been like, Yeah, we're gonna fall for a while. So this the first time I got floated game, on the boat. Though. We decided that I don't go with the boat. Yeah. You had to rescue me oh, with yeah. rope. Like, I had to throw rope at you. Like, yeah, I grab it. This game makes this question, like, like how if physics had, worked if with magic I'd have been and way shit. Out like, turn around. It's sort right. of shattering a bit, but it's, a, it's different. Uh, that was Rumble Thane. Then he also went. Uh, so it's them now. Y'all ready for this? No. The, the, we skip this. Sorry about time. We just skip them. The... I'm down for that. I'll just say because I'm tired of calling him the big fat white thing. The Zovut is recovering. He's trying to recover. Yeah. Look, fucker. Oh, he did not recover. Yeah. So he is still tumbling from the ring of the ram. I mean, the last resort. You could because oh, I was thinking. Wait. I didn't think about the disc, but I was thinking you had that rod that. 
I was thinking, oh, like, you oh, just you said could... this already. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To, like, clink it. And, let and it then let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but I would, completely, yeah, lose it. Yeah, I would completely lose destroy it, somebody. You'd lose it. But it'd be gone. It'd be an instant kill, but I would yeah. lose it. Yeah. yeah. If it'd you could be, hit with it. It'd be like a real gunshot. It's a great time to roll the dice. Especially if you uh, if you left it if you left it if you left it uh, I'm just like I'm like here we go if you left, <laughs> if you left that go if you let that go vertically instead of horizontally it'd be like a fucking no, rail I mean, right. no yeah. I'm saying like you do it like this it'd be the same thing but yeah but fat just yeah poof, yeah yeah like you would, you would hit something <laughs> this big immovable as, like yeah, it, would just, yeah. it would rip something in half yeah, but I'm yeah, saying yeah. but I would lose it it would be yeah. gone it would and it's too it's so fucking useful it's so right. useful uh, so the one Vrock is moving back into position that you scared off um so that's its turn. The other Vrock next to you. Mm, mm, next to Rofrust? Yeah. Make me... Bring it uh, Did you say or do anything when you like got into blows with it? Or did you just uh, just move over and attack? I mean, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a boastful son of a bitch. I probably, I probably said, like, Big back, you feathery bitch! You know, roll you know me something a, like that. Roll me an intimidation. Oh, okay. I just want to see. I just want to see how focus is on just uh, killing you versus what it was going to do originally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're attacking it, uh, how, how 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 much of a threat it thinks you not are? Not very. I'm pretty awkward up here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that makes complete sense. Like yeah. you're you're just trying to move and hey, get over and fighting. Like, hey, right. <laughs> like, like I almost, I almost, I, I almost argued for a disadvantage <laughs> when I yeah. attacked. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to give you just no, I'm not. Just telling you my disposition here. That'd be terrible. Gold, gold is fire. Our, our right? Gold is fire. Because yeah. Ayasa is gold. Uh, yeah, Ayasa is gold. Gold That's is why fire. we can't tell where the hell our fucking scale is. <laughs> right, their scale. That's a long story. Is somewhere. Yeah, our scale gold is fire. Uh, silver is cold. Copper is acid. And bronze is lightning. And the only one left and is. Brass, brass, so. which, is, our, which might is be fire or dehydration. Yeah. De- yeah. We have oh. uh, our breath weapons are determined by our scales. So I, I spew acid. He shoots lightning out of his mouth. Brass is a mixture of copper and iron. <laughs> brass dragons and, and <laughs> as long as I know dozen dragons, brass dragons What's have brass? a dehydration <laughs> breath weapon. It's not actual either. answer, not what <laughs> he's really ans- asking, but so okay. So you dick. were on the side with him. Yeah, so either it's copper so it's, and steel. It's iron. Rumble Thane and Yasa <laughs> and you and him. Bronze is copper and iron, brass okay. is, is steel and <clears throat> It's, it's constitution also, checks for you and you. It's also... Uh, do I still have an advantage? You do. It's uh, bacteria. He's my lord just, after you. You still have protection it's, from evil. Yeah. God, those dice are cool. Ah. Sound, they sound good. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'll take a, a 21. Okay. And I will take a 24. All right, both of you. Uh, it like kind of rears back from you. And just lets out this screech, which actually, like, you can see. It echoes, like, distorts the air around it. Like, you can feel it, like, warble through your body. Like, just the rock, yeah. Like, and, like, you're like, and you can feel, like, your body trying to seize up from it. And you're like, no! So both of you resist the paralyzation that it was trying to. Paralyzation, that. That, that would be shitty on the fall. That is a really <laughs> shitty thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, that was that. The other rock moved into place. The two shadow fiends or the shadow demons are now getting into position to attack. And brass is also fire. Brass is also fire in the second. Because there's no fire. dehydration. <clears throat> well, I bet the dragons have. Yeah. Google it as I googled it. Yeah. Are you look at the dragon born or the. Dragons. Uh, dragon. yeah. So you look at the dragon born. Yeah. Right. So the dragons may yeah, have yeah, a different yeah, thing. Yeah. Just the, the ancestry I, I, yeah. has. I was referencing the dragon born. There's no dehydration in the dragon born. Right. All right. 
Um, they're coming down and they're going to claw the fuck out a couple people. Let's say it's a random roll. Rumble thing is not going to be in it. So one, Sorry, two, three, four. The roll. You're supposed yeah. to use the... One, two, three, four. <laughs> it First one is Rofrost. The second one is not Rofrost. <laughs> yeah, <Rofrost. beer. laughs> it's Rofrost. Fuck off! No, you got him twice. <laughs> Dude, I could do that if that's a if you guys want. They, do you want them both to attack you? Yes. <clears throat> so. so one, one, three. These well, people on board. On the ground, I, it was a two. We just set it up there or something. No, no. Um, I know I'm awesome, but I'm here. Uh, yeah. I, I'm here no, to be. Falls on the table. We don't count it anymore. Yeah. I'm here to be the protector. Right. Yeah. So both shadow demons go after you. Okay, bring it, Brittany. He still has bitch. protection for me. He does, which gives them disadvantage. disadvantage. So that's why I'm like, might as well attack you, Marcus Welby. I, I appreciate how you look over your assets. It's good, good, he good, has, good. He has the most health for, uh, probably right now, and <laughs> he's so... oh, oh, hold on, this has some special attack rules. <clears throat> if they attack the same target twice, instant death. <laughs> <laughs> Begin saving throw as you fall. Fucking <laughs> four plus uh, one. Death saving wow. throw. Huh. Interesting. A 17 is not going to hit you, is it? I think you have a no, not since that breastplate. Yeah. 19, right? I think you have a 19 now, right? I have a 19! Yeah. Ching, 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 ching. I rolled, wow. on my disadvantage, I, I rolled the same value. So. Oh, wow. Uh, God damn, how many you roll a 17 with disadvantage? Oh, right? Fuck you. He you rolled can... a, he critted with disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, nope. Alright, so they come down like, and your protection is like, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. yeah. <clears throat> They see that and go, hmm, and start looking at other targets. Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> they're not dumb. Uh, hold on. Are yeah, they're not dumb. Opportunity, are attacks <laughs> of opportunity still a thing? They, they are, just like, yes. Okay. Mm, so if they, they disengage, just like... except for if you're engaged by something else. So if the Vrock is still attacking you and these two leave... so. You still have to focus on the Vrock. Well, one will have to leave before the other, so... No, you have you have a Vrock and two Shadow Demons. Uh, all right. As long as one of them stays... Makes sense. I like that, yeah. You have to keep concentrating on yeah. him. Unless I have a Sentinel feat or something, yeah. yeah. I think it's zero next turn. It is zero next turn. So I'm going to kind of roll myself under the Vrock. Because I'm lowest, right? You're lowest, lowest. yeah. I'm going to roll myself under the Vrock that's attacking him and loose my bedroll like a shitty sack to try to ensnare it. That's a rogue right there. Look at you and your creative <laughs> ideas. This game. I'm a fucking <laughs> balloon, man. Yeah, I'm so it's like, like, it's like fighting him and all this stuff and it sees you down there and it's just like, whatever. And you're... <laughs> and it just comes up. It hits... This side and like kind of comes up around his neck and face, but his wing is here and it comes up around the wing and around his waist over here. And he's like, and like <laughs> catches up his wing and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's a couple twists before that thing is it comes off of him. So sure. you have put him a turn away. <sighs> so what a great idea. I'm a do you have inspiration? You should get I inspiration. I can't even use my inspiration. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, this is falling is my best. <laughs> when we get option for wings, I'm fucking getting Four. wings. <laughs> Four. 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 Oh, I've got to take my bedroll off my equipment. <laughs> you can don't worry about that. You can purchase a new bedroll when you get back anyway. to town. Just to, for myself, just for fun. Bedroll gone. Bedroll. All right. So remove. So now Rofrus on him has. Two shadow demons, and shadow fiend, yeah, shadow demons, and a rock. Well, no, nope, not a rock. The rock is gone. Yeah, yeah. one rock. Oh, it's not I like took the rock off. Well, yeah, there, there was two rocks on me. No, nope. there was a rock on on Ayasa, a rock on you. Two the rock, oh. the rock flanked the and formation. The four, oh, okay, four, okay. Four, okay. Uh, <laughs> Zo. The Zo, whatever. Zo, but that thing is, hasn't recovered yet from being knocked asunder earlier. Uh, we. 
We originally had fewer <coughs> the sheets, that... but right now we're using D and D Beyond. We just we're just lazy. We haven't moved any. Uh, we're doing, doing the same thing that Critical do. Role has. They have their their tablets out and their D and D Beyond because yeah. they're sponsored by them. A lot of this is because it's our old sheets. A lot of it is just like putting quick notes or like writing yeah. something down. That kind of stuff. Numbers to. But we use D and D Beyond to, yeah. for everything else. So honestly, on my phone right now, all my character sheets right there. So I know it's kind of hard to see it. D and D Beyond. <sighs> If you don't have D&D Beyond... It's pretty uh, nice. I was going to say, at first, I was like, don't pay for anything that we don't need. And then he got it, and I was like, oh, this is badass. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah, I, it's, 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 it's nice. super expensive. It is it is stupid expensive. Mm. I think it's going to kill it. But they got... Yeah. I bought the, the Core 3 they really out of it. They should have made that a little cheaper, because... Yeah, I love yeah. to do it. Cool. The whole package, I'm like, seeing how much I've spent on books now. Yeah. Like, because they pretty much make you rebuy the book. And to buy like every book yeah. that's out, it's like five hundred, six hundred bucks. It's like going shit. to school. Like your textbook costs two hundred bucks, and next year they're making another one. You're like, why? Fuck you so much. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Okay, I'm excited. You drink so fast. And he's like, let me pop number six as we're about to end the session. Yeah, that's at twelve thirty. That's twelve thirty. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Um, What's, I mean, we finished I, Rhino, right? Have you gone yet? No, I have to yep. go. So, yeah, go and we'll finish Rhino. Um, yeah, save that. We'll go back to Thursday in a minute. Yeah. Don't, we're literally telling you that as you're doing it. We're going to have a session here in about in about two seconds. So, unless you can show me in two seconds. I think this one was this one. But don't, I, I, I think I don't it was this one. I'm just going to Sacred Flame something. Okay. So the Vrock that's on the Yasa Rumble thing side has recovered and moved back into position. Um, then there's, there's the two shadow fiends. shadow fiends on him. I'm not necessarily. I'm. I'm more concerned about Ayasa because without her, we don't survive this fall most likely. So That's a good, good concern to have. Let's sacred flame the rock on Ayasa. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, is it is it unless it's not within sixty feet? Oh, it is absolutely within sixty feet. Okay, I was like. There is a range, so. Uh, okay, so it seems to be uh, particularly resistant to spells, as it just shrugs off your sacred flame. This is that even well, thing. even if it's it's uh, radiant. It has no uh, radiant. Uh, it has no weakness to radiant, mm. and it has magic resistance. Mm. So Vrocks are magic that's resistant. That's the Zoan thing. Vrock. What's the name of that white thing? One more time. Uh, Zor- the Zovut. Zovut. Z o v v u t. The Vrock. I got it. Right. Yep. So, so the just... Vrock seem particularly resistant against magic. How big is the Zovut? That's the big corpulent it's, thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It's large enough for it to look large to us. It is still a medium fiend, but it is like eight foot tall. Okay. So I'm not even gonna like roll damage or anything. Yeah, it's it's saved against it. Just is like mm-hmm. nope. Yeah, it, it has advantage against spells, so both of them do. The frocks just have that ability. Right, okay. Uh, that was four. So it's back to the top of the order, but we are at... I don't normally like to mid to end mid-combat. Uh-huh. Um, if you guys want to keep going, we can, but this could be a very long combat. I think, it, I think we're at a good spot. We've got a good... Okay. Ro- like I mean, we've got a good role going. Like we know what we're doing. Do I haven't been taking notes on um, play by play here? Are you? Are you? Uh, do you know where we're at? Uh, should we write anything down here? Because like we got. What are you? Are you I think as long as you've marked your spell slots down in your phone, in, in your D and D beyond I'm out of everything. That's fine. I'm saying I'm out of everything. Like my arrows, I have my arrows written down. I have my things like I've got taken out the equipment I've got. I have two I javelins. Exactly where I we have are. one javelin left. I think the only thing we could really ask would be that if you could maybe throw this on YouTube as quick as you can. That way yeah. we could look at it if we need to. The last like 10, 15, 20 minutes of it would be great, actually. <laughs> Rough us. I have my health down. Um, is, are... I'm more concerned about positioning. Remember yep. positioning. I can, I can, sh- I can draw I'm, that. I'm right drawing here. it out. I was gonna say because it, be, but... it would be like it's just like he said, like this. And we're not counting the other guy, but it's more of a bar where there's two people here, two people here Double with me in the center. Wait, so that's well, you're not in the center anymore. You're underneath. Oh, I know, him. I'm under him, but I'm just saying, like distance wise, it would look like this. 
Yeah, but where are all the enemies in relation Shadow to us? Fiend. So there's two on you, and I'm actually here now. Shadow there's Fiend. one on Ayasa. And do we know where where each of these hit points are? The big guy is oh, right wow. here, and I took the other rock so, off over here. Do you know which ones are the wounded ones, and how wounded they are in relation to where the people are that are falling? And... These are not hurt. This one is injured. I know which one. I, I have the injuries taken down, and I now have a map of where everyone's at. Or okay. I've got a, I think right. I've got something similar. I can always back um, you up there. And again, we have the thing. I can watch the last tail mm -hmm. bit of this yeah. before next session. All right. I mean, less tail bit. I mean, we're, we're talking about like that's 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 at it's least like fifteen minutes. I think it's <laughs> like, just a position everyone. This last yeah. thing, All right? Um, the Yasa and bit. Rumble Thane are on one side, and a Vrock is moving back to position towards a Yasa. And it's uninjured. Shh. It's that is the injured one. That's the injured. Oh, excuse me. Because the uninjured one was on his side. So right. That's what I'm saying. You're right. You're right. Things are getting hit and so they're moving. She right. has a Tensor's Floating Disc as a shield up. Uh, Rumble Thane is in the middle of unlocking one of his lock padlocks. Perfect. Uh, on the other side, you have Savroth and Rofros. Uh, there's two Shadow Fiends on Rofros. Xeranax is underneath Rofros. And I sent one of the other rocks yep. up. And... Like two turns above that is the Zovit. One turn above is the Vrock. The Vrock has recovered. The Zovit still has to recover. Oh, yeah. So he's Dost Roll. Bring That's where we're at in the combat <laughs> for next week. <laughs> all right. Is that like, what, five charges? Okay. One last question. Is Tensor's floating just visible? Oh, or all all it is yeah. visible. Yeah. It looks like a big metal disc. Okay. A little okay. concave. Yeah, like yeah. It kind of looks like a. Pan like type of thing. That's just, All right. It is not invisible. I think it's your turn. Um, what is it? Hold on. Just read This spell creates a circular horizontal plane of force three feet in diameter, one inch thick, that floats three uh, feet above the ground in an unoccupied space of your choice that can be seen within range. Uh, the disc remains in for the duration and can hold up to 500 pounds. Blah, blah, blah. The Do disc is know? immobile. While you are within 20 feet of it, if you move more than 20 feet away, the disc follows you so that it remains 20 feet from you. Well, so, Okay. My last question is... Ooh. Hmm. It can't cross an elevation of 10 feet or more. I'm going to... It can't go up if it does that. But since she cast it in midair, the it's like, is it's like, uh, basically. Yeah, at this point we've feet. done it. Yeah, we'll have to discuss it later. I see, yeah. I see exactly what you're yeah, saying. It, it's yeah. supposed to be cast near the ground, but in this case, be on it's a plane just like of, of where she is. Yeah, it's yeah. just there and it's oh, outside of that. I like that. It's because it was, it was cast planner. It can't rise 10 feet above more than, yeah. It no. can't get away 20 feet away from her. It was cast yeah. planner. But it's so. already cast above the ground, so it's just like. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just has a wobble to it instead. It's just... Yeah. Um, my last question is, do you have uh, initiative order written down? I do, yeah. yeah. Initiative order is written down, damage is written down, except for your damage, you have that. Okay. Down. Then, uh... As long as he has the max can, uh, damage, should be other mobs. Like, I know he has initiative <clears throat> Then we can uh, give our parting words then. Again. All right, Dean, take us out. All right, well, thank you very much for turning in Sorry, tuning in to yeah. another episode of Wileyverse D and D version right now. Um, thank you very much, Wes, for coming by. We yeah. appreciate it. Good to see also, you. Also, not Swordmaster. What was the other? Lucid Abstract. 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 Yeah, yeah, man. He hosts us, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I always forget about. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you, Lucid Abstract. Also, uh, we will be back next week. Yeah, no nothing. one has any. No, issues. there's no outstanding issues or no, 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 We do no, 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 Airborne conflict <laughs> with some demons. That's why it doesn't take three fall. hours to as resolve. We, yeah. As we fall, also hopefully not to our death. <laughs> what time are you playing? Uh, we will play at 
Most likely close to 9.30 Arizona. Arizona time. Still, standard time or whatever well, it's, it's called. It's Arizona time, Are which is Pacific? currently Pacific. Yes. No, still it's Pacific. currently, it's it's currently mountain. Pacific. Mm-hmm. We're it's an hour off from right mountain. Now. I know because the company that does my website always New does Mexico their... New Mexico is an hour ahead. Wait, no, I thought we switched. We're, I thought we were like... No, we're California time right now. We're California we're Pacific time, time. Right now? The we're not. But. No, we're no, not. We no, absolutely because, are. Because because mm-hmm. East Coast is only two hours ahead of us now. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are not on Mountain Time. Pacific Time is an hour behind us right now. Yeah, I think Dayton's right. Oh, that, okay. was, that was the point of the switch. In yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Or sorry, late October that it happened. So we're like Central. What is it? Central Time. No, we're definitely not central. We're not central. No, we'll no. never be saying it. Okay, so we are we are mountain. Oh, you're right. Time. You are correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're the same as Denver. What's, it's we're weird no, so, is because it we was keep getting read it backwards. It's oh, right. they do central. That's what. Yep. The company that I I'm working with for my website keeps making their meetings in Calm central down. time. So you're right. One. So we're time. we're only your big balls we anyway. were two hours off. Now so we're one hour. Off. <laughs> And so, what? It can't be because you're right a lot. So we're we're Arizona time, <laughs> currently mountain time. Mountain time, um, which is is an I'm hour ahead of Pacific. Um, we have a YouTube. Oh, hour. I'm a sorry. I'm a webmaster, so I I run That's a website. All webs. Yeah. I run a website. It's yeah, it's my day job. Always going to be in this class. Though. All right. So <laughs> so we're an hour ahead of Pacific. That's an like hour behind Central and two hours behind Eastern. Just yes. think about whatever time it is where you're watching. Well, he's in Michigan. Subtract so... three hours. Yes. Is Michigan Eastern or Central? It's Eastern, I think. No, it's Eastern. Central. It is Central. Michigan? Michigan's far enough west to... I, I mean, West could tell us. Right? could tell us, but is it... Makes sense. West, what time is it in Michigan? He said 11.30. Oh, wait. Hold on. 11.30 right now. So... I'd say it's... So that's, it is Eastern, no? Oh, sure. So yeah, yeah, Eastern. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. about twelve forty-five for us. I so it's two hours behind Eastern. For him. We are two hours behind Eastern. Well, it's if he's Eastern, it's two forty-five. Oh, we're two hours behind Eastern. Yeah, Michigan. Well, if we're is, two hours not, behind yeah. Eastern, yeah, we're not. Nice. He's not in Maine. He's in Michigan. Yeah, he's central. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. Uh, <laughs> we need a time lord. <laughs> right. Anyway, all this confusing stuff aside, we start around nine thirty Arizona time. You can just look up 9.30 Arizona time. It'll be there. Or Otherwise, we're on Mountain. You still have a countdown. I do have the countdown. So, it's or the there. countdown on the stream. We'll, we'll be around that. All that uh, interesting and we're gonna have, yeah, We should make, a, we should make a brass dragon. In, Eastern. We should make a brass dragon NPC for Wes. Into the mimic. We'll go. discuss that off camera. It's so you can't hear Oh, us. it's 2.45 for you right now. Yeah. It's okay. In the morning. He's Eastern time. Right. So, yeah, it's two hours. It's two You're hours. talking about 11.30 start time. Okay, I thought you that was, said it was 11.30 like right now, now. No, okay, no, no. right. No, yes, would, two hours. That would mean he'd it be is on two the hours. Western coast. Yeah, yeah. Like which is not the same time. Ooh. We've Enjoy. been we've been drinking, so yeah. At least Sounds these guys have still them. correct. And Nobody cares about it. <laughs> All right, finish off the finish off the finishing off. Yeah. Thank you again, Wes. Thank you, Lucid Abstract. Show us the money shot. Thank you, everyone who watches this video in the future. This has been another episode of Wiley vs. D&D. Have a good night. Happy New Year. We'll see you next time. Happy New Year. Yay.